Welcome into the Cowboys Report. It is playoff time as the Dallas Cowboys are taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Dallas, of course, at home in this game because they are the higher seed in this one. We're going to be live. So, oh, oh, did, did I miss it? I missed 69 likes. Oh. You just hate to see it, folks. You really do hate to see it. But if you think the Cowboys are going to win, flood the comment section right now with C's in the chat. We have a, our Niners game, or our Niners watch party going on across the, the room. I call it room, right? Like, yeah, hall. I don't know. Uh, nearby us, so we, we will probably hear each other yelling. But I want to make sure you guys are flooding the comment section with your C's right now. Keep those loser Niners and Eagles, and Washington, and Giants fans that you guys know are going to be showing up at various points on today's show because they can't just help themselves. Even producer Jeremy, he had a rough day for his Eagles, by the way. He is wearing the Cowboys jersey. Just keep that in mind. Maybe you'll see him if we get the right amount of Super Chats as part of today's show. We will also be having a Super Chat battle against our 49ers report. And I, I want to make sure that the Cowboys take care of business against San Francisco on the field, and I want to take care of business against Chase Sr., our Niners report host, off it as well. I made very sure not to use the word beat in that context. I'm not an idiot. We'll check in on the Super Chats and the likes throughout today's show, but I want you guys to make sure that you're Super Chatting throughout. So let's, let's hit briefly here the Super Chat Menu, doing a couple different new things today for you guys. Here's what the overarching thing is, right? $5 Super Chat, I'll crack open a beer, do some beer cheers. Every $100 in Super Chats that we get, that's total, I'll do a fireball shot. Every 250 new subs, we'll have producer Jeremy tracking those numbers throughout the show, I'll do a fireball shot as well. Every 500 likes, as always, that's still here. A fireball shot. And I can only guarantee this next part for pregame because I don't want to keep them here the entire day doing nothing. If we get a $100 super chat, we'll bring on baby Olivia for a little bit. $100 super chat, we'll bring her on. We got a $10 one from right there. 100 individual super chat. We'll bring it on. We also have our more normal menu here as well. Excuse me. $5, beer cheers. 15 I finished my beer. 20 it's shot time. We just got two shots and some beer cheers. 30 I'll do two shots, and I'll potentially make Jeremy do one with me to help me not uh, lose my sanity. If you do a $50 super chat, you can slap either me or producer Jeremy. Now, I assume you're going to want to slap producer Jeremy, so... If it doesn't say who you, because they don't like you, Jeremy. Now, if they, if you don't put a name in your $50 Super Chat, I'm just going to slap Jeremy. If you put my name, slap me around. Otherwise, I'm assuming it's going to be Jeremy in the end. So some Super Chats to get to here. First up from Trucker John Billy. Well, at least your Raiders fan friend isn't happy. Go Cowboys. Mitch, Mitch had a rough day. Uh, I'll give him that. But he's being a trooper today in the office. So bottoms up. I'll do two beer cheers. This one was $10. There we go. The $100 Super Chat just came in. Let's get these. And then we'll go to Muology, a.k.a. Jace. His first one was, I'm Petty, is Mitch in San shambles about his little raiding party. That's a guy I like that name for it. Hi, Chugs. Chase, y'all going on, down. Tom, what's up, big dog? 3410 Cowboys. So first off, I owe the shot for the $20 Super Chat. I might mix in some vodka throughout the day just, just to keep it light. That's dirty. Shouldn't have it dirty. Why don't that dirty? That's gross. All right. Uh, Tokyo Talk all says Greg costed us the second or first seed. A lot of missed kicks, Tokyo. Bottoms up. I'll shout out Daily Llama 12, by the way. He's got the, the sticker, so it's always tough for it to come through. Get good. $5 pointing up, so I appreciate that one. I'll also shout out uh, Kajalik Campbell, who says, I think we'll do any trick plays. I think both play callers, Kellen Moore and Shanahan, will be in their bags today. But here's the $100 super chat from Uology, a.k.a. Jace, my boy. Come on in, Mary-Kate. I want to see the tiny human. Can we please slap Jeremy anyway? I don't know if we should slap Jeremy, but let's, let's bring, br yes, br bring me my baby girl. 
Do you, can you do the uh, can you do the, the the Lion King music too? There, yeah, just bring it over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look who we got in the office. Oh, don't look sad. A uh, baby Olivia. Look at the camera. Don't cry. No crying. Can you say go Cowboys? You're not there yet, are you? It's baby Olivia, everybody. There we go. Thank you, Jace. How long do you want to stick around for today, sweetheart? Thanks for the music, Jeremy. There's baby Olivia. She's got gorilla onesie on. Dancing. Michael Parsons. Oh, yeah. That's baby Olivia. Some more super chats to get caught up on here. If we get another hundred in the next, like, five minutes, then we can bring her back on. Dalai Lama. Okay, you can stop now. You can stop. That's so obnoxious. All right. Dalai Lama, lots of super chats to get caught up on here. Hippo character repeatedly points to the streamer while chanting, get good. I don't know where the... Doesn't really point to the streamer, but bottoms up, Daily Llama. Thank you. All right, some more super chats coming in here. There was a 10 and a 5 from Stephen West, by the way, Jeremy. $5 one also says go Cowboys, 35-21. I should probably finish his beer, shouldn't I? That's probably what I should do, right? I think I think you need to surprise Cowboys Nation because there's yeah. something that we have back that we haven't had in a, in a couple weeks. And I think What's you that? know what I'm talking about. I actually don't. Das? No. Over there. We oh, just got it. Oh, that's right. We do. We do have it. Haven't had this in a while because I drank it all. We got the Jack, too. $25. How about that? $25. we will do a shot of the Jack. Keep keeping it different. A, a, a poll? A little poll to start? We can do a poll to start here. Oh, I got to crack this. This is brand new. I cracked well, the seal and everything. While Tom figures that yeah. out, get y'all's predictions in the chat right now. Cowboys versus 49ers. What is your game time prediction? What is the score going to be of this game? There we go. Finally. Stupid label. I'll give some shout outs while Tom figures out As alcohol. I am struggling hard. There we go. Now we got it. Let me see. Make sure I clear Here we that go. Up. They're, coming, they're coming in. Pull Jenkins. time? Pull time? Pull time. For, for Steven West? He says, go Cowboys, 35-21. Uh, Jace also says that is 100% your child. Love you, Tom. Thank you, Jace. I also want to shout out Melson BG for his super chat. And Samuel, maybe we'll get to Samuel here I'll, in a little bit if, if you're able. I'm going to give some shout outs while you do your poll. Bottoms up. Jenkins Gaming, Cowboys 24 14. Clayton Lockhart, 35 10. Blizzard 2, 2035. Wowzer, Cowboys 49, Niners 17. Casey Bryant, 41-17, all Cowboys. Typhoon FNBR, 31-17. That's just to, to calm any nerves. Woo! All right. I'll give some shout-outs here. Two more Super Chats coming in. Ooh, that is... Woo! All right. 34-10 from James. 32-19 from Kevin. All things to leave. 43-26 Cowboys. I like that. Here's Stephen West's $10 Super Chat from earlier. His score prediction... Was 35-21, go Cowboys. I, I would like that. That'd make me a very happy person to win by 14. By the way, I did pick Cowboys minus three as soon as that line came out because I'm not a coward like some of you guys aren't out there. From Taryn. Here's Taryn, Super Chat. Go Cowboys. Can't wait to see Micah Parsons and this defense. This year feels different. 28-17, Cowboys. And then Samuel had one that said, do you think more – was holding all the trick plays for the postseason. I owe, I owe some beer cheers here. Um, that was more of a beer chug, but there were a lot of them, so we'll call it. Uh, the Cowboys have used trick plays. They, they've gone to the offensive lineman, fat guy touchdown. They've done the Cedric Wilson pass play. I think you'll see Kellen try to implement some different stuff, keep the Niners' defense off balance, but... Their secondary, especially their corners, are not that good. So I would just air it out downfield if I ran the Cowboys. We'll see if that ends up happening. Let's get some more likes on the show. Every 500 likes, I'll do a shot. By the way, what was the rule for every 100 in, in supers? That was, that, that was a, a shot as well, right? All right, so I owe another shot. Let's go vodka this time. Keep, keep it mixed up because, you know, I'm not going to have to worry about driving. I'll Uber home. I'm, I'm a responsible adult. With a kid. 
Someone already said Dez caught it. You're damn right. So this is every $100 in Super Chats, I'll do a shot. Every 500 likes, I'll do a shot. Bottoms up. It all stacks on each other, man. It's like that SpongeBob episode. I'm a Cowboys fan with a kid. There you go. Fine. That makes sense. So shout out all the Super Chats that have come in so far, including Nelson and Samuel. And we didn't get yours on screen, but there was a lot going on there. So we kind of kind of missed them there. So... Oh, that's not bad. I don't know what bad luck is there right there. You guys are crazy. Stefan Diggs, by the way, is in Dallas for this game. Flew down. So who you got in this one? This is actually the pinned poll right now on today's video. I want you to be honest with me in the comments. Four for the 49ers. C for the Cowboys. I, I was honest on my video, whatever Thursday it was. I think the Cowboys are going to win this football game. And, I, and I'm going to be mad if they don't win the game. I'm, I'm going to be very upset. I see a four from Dash XL, but it is C's from. Ah, that's a weird font. I can't read it. Dusty, Trevor, Ian, Antonio, Joe, Ina, Chafita, or Chafito, excuse me. Brandon, Curtis, Antonio, David, Jess, CT, the Don, Lamar Productions, Isaac, a lot of C's in there. Larry, Preston, Brian, Anthony, Harold, Paul. Retro Beezus. Gabe is in there. Ooh, Rodney says the refs. Ugh, that's always an issue in the past, isn't it? Hopefully, just let them play. Let them play. I see your super chat, Alexander Forte as well. Thank you. Uh, he says, I've heard too much all week about how we should fear the Niners. Screw that. Let's step on their throats and don't look back. You get it, Alexander. Go, go win by 20. Go be the team we think you can be. We've seen you be able to do. What's up, Jeremy? Early Super Chat. It's actually 177 now, thanks to Alexander's Super Chat. 177 to 62. We're also beating them right now in the like battle. I, I'll tell you what. Just like that fraud football team up in Washington, I want to double them up. Subs on the actual Washington football team. I want to double up Chase in likes and in Super Chat revenue. So keep it coming. Get me hammered. I'll have, uh, I'll, I will Uber home if I need to. Let's make it happen here. Austin's got, got the line in there. There you go. Up to 408. Every $100 in supers, every 500 likes, I'm doing a shot. All right, we're going sub only chat to get rid of some of those Niners fans in there who keep spamming BS. Type me if you guys want a shout out. Then we'll tell you guys about BetUS. It looks like kickoff is actually going to be more along the lines of, based on what CBS is showing right now, more at uh, 440 Eastern, 340 local. So we'll do this, then we'll hit some of the injury stuff and talk about BetUS here. All right, <clears throat> rapid fire here. Get caught up at the top. <sighs> Andre, Isaac, Virus, Brendan, Rich, Concrete, Kalich, Spider-Man, Antonio, Dallas, Joe, 88, Krager, David, uh, beat you up. Brandon, Concrete, Nano, Spider-Man, Carter, Braden, Sean, Curtis, Lance, Carter, different Carter. Day, Wheezy, Antonio, Luis, different Spider-Man. That's weird. Sally, Handsome Shrek. Okay. Caleb, Melson is in there. Melson BG, you super chat earlier. Calvin, Antonio, Scott, Day, Rodney, Toto, Christopher, Ramon, Just Call Me, Luis, Eric, Juan, Wavy, J uh, Jawad, Pug, Racer, Dennis, 8 Music, all things Phillies, Dan, Blake, Terry, Christopher, James, Super, Game Changer, David, Devine, Kevin, Demon, Blake, me, and Kid Curry. Okay, today's show, powered by our sportsbook partner, BetUS. I already put down my money on the Cowboys to take down San Francisco in this game. I, the minus three, I thought it was minus five and a half or six. I love that line, so I took it. Chatsports.com slash bet promo code Cowboys125. And back at least through kickoff, folks, it is the Cowboys jersey deal. Here's how you can get it. Follow the steps on the screen. Right head over to Chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code Cowboys125. 125 because it gets you a 125% deposit bonus when you put down at least $100. If you have questions, email us, jersey at chatsports.com. We'll need you bet your S account number, you know, screenshot of your first bet, and your shirt, your jersey size and everything. Two are available. Dak Prescott in the Navy, Ezekiel Elliott 
in the color rush. If you have questions, just email us, jersey at chatsports.com. Shout out producer Chugs for putting that link. I see it in there right now in the comment section. Email, simple guys, jersey at chatsports.com. Injury stuff, then we'll get to some more Super Chats here. Keanu Neal is not playing in this ball game. He is out. He has the chest slash elbow issue. He practiced on Wednesday and then did not practice Thursday, Friday. Wasn't able to, to get through it, to deal with it. So he will not be playing in this one. That means extra pressure here on Leighton Vander Esch. On, I would suspect, more Micah Parsons off ball. Maybe some Luke Gifford. And I think you'll see some heavy safety packages in this game as well. Meaning J. Ron Kirst, Donovan Wilson, and or Malik Cooker and or, I mean, and Malik Cooker or DeMonte Casey. I think you'll see a lot of big, um, big nickel, big dime packages in the end from this game. So we'll see what ends up happening there because I don't think the Cowboys want to give Gifford and Bernard a bunch of reps, but I do trust Gifford a little bit more in tight spaces in the box than an extra safety, but I think I'd rather have Donovan Wilson and Hooker or Casey with J. Ron Curse, of course, also out there. We will see if I'm right or if I'm wrong, but I am betting that Kelvin Joseph is going to be out there for the Dallas Cowboys at corner on the outside. I'm not sure that's a lock. We'll see if I, if I look stupid or not, but I suspect that it's going to be Diggs, Joseph on the outside, and Nickel, Anthony Brown, who I think will still start, takes over at the Nickel spot uh, with Jordan Lewis relegated to the bench. That's what happened against Arizona, and I think that's what Dallas was going to do before the Eagles game when Anthony Brown ended up missing it. I do think you'll see plenty of safeties. J. Ron Curse, who, of course, missed last week's game with a hamstring and then also COVID, he cleared it in time. I think you're going to see a lot of curse. He needs to play well. Donovan Wilson has to play well. DeMonte Casey needs to show up. Israel Mukwamu, I don't think you're going to see him out there. Or excuse me, he's actually on IR. I forgot to change that. Duh. Idiot Tom. Mukwamu is out for the year on IR. Malik Hooker. Those are going to be your four. I'm excited to see how they, how they use them, how they rotate them. But I think you're going to see a lot of usage for the safeties in this game for the Cowboys. It's been their path as of late. So Cowboys Niners, still about seven-ish minutes here from kicking off, thanks to some delays. Uh, the line, by the way, I will make note, just actually jumped. Uh, it is now Cowboys minus three and a half. That line has changed, or not substantially, but it's changed a little bit here in the waiting moments before kickoff. The Cowboys inactives, by the way, then we'll get to some super chats. Simi Fayoko, healthy scratch. Matt Farniak, Quinton Bohanna. Healthy scratches as well. The aforementioned Keanu Neal is not going. Two corners out today as well. Maurice Kennedy and Nashawn Wright. Neither guy will be out. That'll be the big four for Dallas of Diggs, Brown, uh, Joseph, excuse me, and Lewis. Some super chats now, which means some beer getting drunk. Uh, from vlogging my life as JoJo. Okay. Do you think the Cowboys have a chance at the Super Bowl this year? Their offense getting better, working their defense a little bit. If they play to what we have seen them play in the past, the answer is yes. If this is the Cardinals team, this is the Broncos team, the Raiders team, no, they, they will not. But we know what they can do. We've seen it. Bad teams don't drop 50 multiple times in a season. Backups or not. So they can. But they have to go prove it now. Bottoms up, my friend. From Beat You Up, five for pronouncing my name correctly. 3410 Cowboys, let's go. I remember the first time I saw it, I went, Beat You like, and it like, took me a second to get there, but I know it is. It is Beat You Up. So thank you, my friend. Bottoms up for that one as well. I'll shout out Muology, aka Jace, $2 super chat. Uh, clown announcers betting on SF. Oh, hell no. And then Yo Squiggly Man just says, Go Cowboys. Can I get some Go Cowboys in the chats here? Spam Go Cowboys for me? Oh, what'd you do for me, Jeremy? I don't trust it when you do things for me. You scare me a, a little bit. There you go. We them boys. I like that one. That's not bad. I like it. Yeah. Go prove it. Go prove to the team we all think you can be. Win the damn football game. I don't care how it looks, just go win. 
spam go cowboys we them boys like uh jace just did also matthew cardona if we lose i quit watching football go dallas see you next year no matter what uh melson bg i'm confident in the cowboys but i'm scared i don't i'm not sure how that i'm okay i'll, I'll, I'll allow it i get it it's it, it's it's you, you, you don't want to lose i get it he says 33 25 his score prediction, which I assume means Cowboys there in the end. There is some red in the stands. A, a, a non-zero amount, as I look at it here, some, some of the videos from... It's not 50. It looks worse than it is because they went with the whiteout and the red really like kind of bleeds across it. But it's, it's not red in the stands. TSW, talked ish to my Niner fan co-worker. Let's win this one. That's what I did. Bottoms up. Go Cowboys. Still got a couple minutes here before kickoff. I think hoping we get the coin toss results here. Cowboys won the toss. They deferred. All right. 500 likes. Shot time. There we go. So, Jeremy, what do you call when the coin goes up in the air? Like heads or tails? Yeah, heads or tails. I mean, is this a trick question? It's, it's not, tails. It's, not, it's tails, right? It's tails never fails. So, guess what it was? Tails. Guess what the, the Niners called? Heads. Yes. Nice. Already taken out to start. Not, not, not a good look, San Fran. Eric Armstead called heads. You always go with tails. Why aren't you guys going with tails? Well, th they do this every game, what you're talking about. They're, they're showing right now on CBS the uh, – it's pretty much every game. For the standing room only crowd, they wait and sprint in every time. So bottoms up. Oh, also, we're also past uh, $100 in Super Chat revenue again. So I owe two shots, 500 likes shot time. This is, this is for the uh, – some fireball here. It is. That's for the likes. <clears throat> and this one is going to be for the... We'll mix in the jack, I think, at some point. Make sure I screw the lid on so I don't drop it everywhere. Get a profile pick. $2, which is, I think, me slapping Mitch. Or somebody slapping Mitch. Can't tell who. We'll go ahead and go to this question first. Who you got? Four for the Niners. C for the Cowboys. Get a profile pick. Will Z be back next... Will Zeke... Be back next year. Eh, probably um, will be my suspicion. This is for 200 in Super Chats. Every 100, I'm doing a shot. Woo, okay. That's a bit strong. Okay, water. <sighs> yes, it is. Get the fours and the Cs in there. If you haven't already, folks, hit me up on Twitter at WhatGoingDowny. Not going to try to tweet as much today, but I will still try to get highlights on there for you guys, and we'll see. Hit me up on Twitter at WhatGoingDowny. Let's get me to 13,000 uh, followers here. Rebel Wraith 81 I see your super chat as well. Looking at the crowd here. It is definitely Cowboys dominant. There will be some Niners fans, though. So pro tip, go score early. Don't let them make any noise. Rebel Wraith 81, I see your super chat. I'll shout that one out here. They got the towels out. God, the red just, it bleeds through. You should have gone with the navy. Because the navy and red clash perfectly. White and gold clash perfectly. It's not together. So last chance here, folks, to predict the score of Cowboys Niners. Two Super Chats. Rebel Wraith 81 says, if Dallas loses, McCarthy is fired. Quinn is the new head coach. I don't know if they'd pick Quinn, guys. Also, he wasn't a great head coach in Atlanta. Let's be honest. Jorge Batista says, Kyle Shanahan has never beaten Mike McCarthy, period. Go Cowboys 30-27. Get your score predictions in here and... Spam some C's if you want in the chat as well. Uh, Greg Zerline off. Oh, I got to do some beer cheers. Oh, you said his name. Mm. Uh, the kicker is away. Thank you for calling me on that, Jeremy. Touchback. If I say the kicker's name, I'll drink. Almost two beers down. Let's go. Yeah. All right, Niners will start with the football. It is Jimmy Garoppolo under center once again. Curious, especially if we get to the red zone, if the Cowboys will bring out, or the Niners will bring out Trey Lance in some packages. Elijah Mitchell in the game, the lone man in the backfield. 
Cowboys showing more of a 3-4 look. Parsons lined up off the edge. Gregory was almost off sides. He is off sides. Over the middle, caught by Samuel. It's a first down pickup. Debo beats Casey. See what the flag is for. I assumed it was on the Cowboys, but Gregory pointed towards a false start. It is, it is off sides. So first down 49ers. The neutral, Gregory's arm was across the line. Oh, Williams moved! But Gregory also was in the line when he moved it, so I think that's actually the, the correct call in the end. Gregory crossed over, Williams flinches, that actually is the correct call. So they actually rolled, they actually blew the play dead. So no pickup, first and five. Kyle Hughes check in the game. If he goes in motion, he's lined up left side right now. If he goes to the right, watch the toss play. Offset eye. Use check in motion to the right. It's a toss play to Samuel. Samuel up the middle gets the first down, spun down at the 39. Now, it was more of a power toss, not your full outside zone toss, but still, early first down pickup for San Francisco. Debo Samuel has had the targets or touches on the first two plays. First and ten. Use check in the game, but out wide now. Now they motion use check, going wide left. Parsons coming on a blitz, handoff to Debo Samuel. Gregory blows him up, it's a gain of only one. Gregory rocks Debo there. Lawrence came away with the football. I assumed he was down, but Tank Lawrence pops up with that football after the play. Lawrence not arguing too much, so I assumed that he was down. Second and nine, coming up. Garoppolo under center, two tight ends to the left. Mitchell, the lone back. It's Brown and Lewis, so no Kelvin Joseph out there. Play action, boot right, Garoppolo looking, looking, throws, wide open. It's a first down pickup for San Francisco. Travis Benjamin. Can't let him get that open. I think Curse a bit too deep in his zone. Van Der Esch on the crosser. Not sure who to blame there. So it was Brown, Lewis, and Diggs out there at corner, not Kelvin Joseph. So I was wrong. I'll drink. First and 10, Niners. Got him in a second and long and let him go get a big pickup. From the 43 of the Cowboys, motion. Garoppolo, quick pass over the middle. Caught Ayuk. It's a first down to Anthony with Anthony Brown in coverage. Might have been an RPO. It was tough to tell exactly from what the O-line was doing there. So the Niners are marching. From the 20, or excuse me, the 32-yard line here, San Francisco, again, a two-tight end set. To the left here, Elijah Mitchell, the lone back. Samuel motions in line. Handoff up the middle. Mitchell breaks one tackle and gets 12. Inside the BetUS red zone, Niners marching here. By the way, that was Travis Benjamin who caught the ball earlier. His first catch since 2019. Not nice. Tristan Hill got an arm on Mitchell, but it wasn't much of one. I don't know what Van Der Esch is doing. Parsons got blown out, out of the play too. So first and 10 from the 19. Armstrong Basham checking the game at Edge, motion, empty set, free play, offside, something or other. Debo gets loose, breaks a tackle inside the five. I don't know how there's not a flag on that last play. No flag? 
the Cowboys were offsides. The Niners jumped early. One of those two. So the Niners marching now at the four already. Niners have the NFL's league-leading red zone offense. That's where the run game can help you. Kyle Juszczyk in the game now. Toss right. Mitchell to the edge. He's going to score. Touchdown San Francisco. Nobody touches him. A terrible first drive for the defense. San Francisco strikes first. Parsons and Brown both got out there. Didn't get a hand on him. Toss right. Parsons got blocked by a receiver. Can't have it. Type boo. So an opening drive ends in seven as the extra point is also good by Robbie Gould. Not a good start for the Cowboys' defense. Now the offense will have to go out there and get some points in what could end up being, based on that opening drive, a high-scoring first wild-card game for the Cowboys and the 49ers. Seven plays, 70 yards. The opening Shanahan script works to perfection. They threw it three times, ran it four times, and they score, which is why the passing game worries me so much. Can't allow Jimmy G to hit Travis Benjamin for 17, Debo for 15, and Ayuk for 11. It's bad. Can't have it. All right, folks, today's show is powered by our sportsbook partner, BetUS. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet. Use the promo code you guys see on screen. That is Cowboys125. I'll put that link in the, com, or in, the, in the live chat right now. Thank you right there, Jeremy. I appreciate that. For the playoff game, we have the jersey deal as well. Chatsports.com slash bet, promo code Cowboys125. When you put down at least 100 bucks, it's going to get you a 125% deposit bonus and a Cowboys jersey. If you're a new BetUS customer and you put down the 100 bucks, email us jersey at chatsports.com to get in on this deal. Zeke Elliott jersey in the color rush, Dak Prescott in the Navy. That's what we have available for you guys. Jersey at chatsports.com. Send us an email. We'll have all the details for you in the end. Jersey at chatsports.com. What will happen on this drive? Touchdown, field goal, turnover, or punt. By the way, four. Leaving it four. You got 10 minutes. If you do another $100 super chat, we'll bring baby Olivia back on. Otherwise, wife's going to go home. Is she sleeping? Fighting to sleep. Of course she is. She always does that. So what will happen on this drive? Touchdown, field goal, turnover, or punt. 50, by the way, and I'll slap Jeremy. You guys can see him in his nice Cowboys jersey. There you go. They have not seen you yet in the in, in the uh, in the in the jersey. You, you're gonna go. You're gonna show them to them real quick. Go ahead, Jeremy. Show it. Un unmute yourself too, so you can talk. Be nice. All right, guys. Tom finally remembered to bring the jersey, so I have it on. It's a little bit of a schmedium on me. I know some winter weight to get off, but it's a Sean Lee jersey. Don't worry. I'm not gonna get injured during the uh, during the live watch party, but I am wearing some Cowboys. Ish. Duncan brings it in, the $100 super chat, and take a shot. I'll, I'll do one for you, too, because it does take us over 300 Kick us away. Touchback. That is where Dallas will take over. I would like to see the baby. Shout out Duncan39 for the super chat. So Cowboys football. First and 10, 10 minutes, 54 seconds to go in the first quarter. Let's see what Dallas dials up. Shotgun set, sprinkle in the game. He motions to the right side. It's a fake handoff. Prescott rolling, looking, has to throw it away late. Nobody open. Here's Duncan's super, ch or super chat, 99 That counts for 100. Take a shot. Yeah, so bring me the baby. Thank you. Wanted to go play action boot, and there was just nobody there for Prescott. 
There was great coverage on Cooper. Plain and simple. Yeah, you can bring her here. Aired baby Olivia. Second and ten. Prescott handoff to Elliott. Oh, my God. He lost four yards. Jesus. Second and ten runs are the worst. I don't know why you did it. You fighting the sleep? Do you want to see the camera again, Olivia? I'll wake you up here. There you go. There's baby Olivia. No, she'll sleep. She'll sleep in the car. She sleeps great in the car. Third and 13. Trying not to yell in her ear. Yeah, there you go. You going to dance a little bit? You're a good girl. 10 minutes, 20 seconds to go. Third and 13. Empty set look for Prescott, who drops back to pass. Stunt coming. Prescott gets sacked. No chance. All right. That's enough, baby Olivia. I, th I think you're bad luck, kiddo. So thank you, Duncan. Oh, I do owe a shot here, too. So nothing going on offense there. That's on Connor Williams, by the way. Got to pick up that stunt. Disaster first drive on offense and defense. Kicks away. Benjamin at his own 30. Makes a man miss. Has some space. 35. 40, and taken down at the 42. A second and 10 run on the opening drive does not make me feel good. Bottoms up. The second you lost two and a half yards on your second down play, you were cooked. Absolutely cooked. Subscribe if you haven't already. Here's the game plan after today's show live, or live show ends. If the Cowboys win, we'll preview their game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. If they lose, oh, we're in full meltdown mode. We're going to be calling for people to get fired in our post-game reaction show because I'm going to be mad. Going to be very, very mad in the end. So subscribe if you haven't already for free Cowboys videos all day, not all day, every single day, all year long, right here on the Cowboys Report. Jordan Thomas says Dak always starts playoff games slow, always. A lot of that is when you run the ball on second and ten. It's actually been an issue for several years now for Dallas. And whoever the play caller has been, Garrett, Linehan, Kellen Moore as of late, the slow starts are an issue. Show Jordan. Thank you for the super chat. I agree. American Hiker 96. We're going to lose running up the gut. WTF. The runs that have worked in recent months, let's call it as months, for Dallas, have been outside runs. So use them. Like otherwise, I don't know what you're doing. Use those outside runs because you're right, American Hiker 96. Runs up the middle are not going to work. Like, just not going to happen. There you go. The Super Chat update. We are clinging to a lead over the 49ers report. 318 now versus 251. Don't let them catch up. Don't let them get happy. They're also getting close to us, by the way, folks, on the likes right now. 622, 500. Remember, every 500 likes. So we are... Call it uh, four or 370 away at this point. We'll round up here a little bit. I'll do a shot for you guys. I got, I got the Jack Daniels. I got the vodka and the fireball. We'll get a little bit tipsy there. Uh, Olivia's very mad that I brought her in here and woke her up because she's screaming now. Well, that was okay. We did it. We did it for the super chat. It's all good there. All right. Niners football. Got to get going. MG says more has become predictable. Yes, he has. Second and 10, he loves to, to run the football. Did it again, went nowhere. Grappolo, rusher coming, checks it down in the dirt to Elijah Mitchell. Second and 10. Parsons got there too. So the Niners tried to throw it. Parsons got some pressure there. After Parsons got blocked a couple times on that last drive, he shows some pressure on that one. 
7-0 San Francisco with 9 minutes, 23 seconds to go in the first quarter as Parsons has left the game. Uh-oh, he left the game. Helmet to helmet against Trent Williams, so he's in concussion protocol. That's not good for the Cowboys with Micah Parsons on the sidelines. Luke Gifford checks in. Garoppolo over the middle, broken up. Third and 10, type in stop. You got to get off the field on third and 10. Type in stop, guys. Come on. Let's go. Type Cowboys in those gotta stops. got to get this. They cannot. You cannot allow a third and ten. Type in those stops. Let's go. 9-19. C. Conley, 23. Super Chat says the Cowboys will always find a way to break your heart. Can they do it next week instead? Van Der Esch in the game. Diggs lined up in the, or that's curse, excuse me. Garoppolo drops back. Out route. Caught. Jordan Lewis gets beat by Jawan Jennings. You have to get off the field on third downs. You have to do it against Jimmy Garoppolo. You have to do it. And you didn't do it right there. Jawan Jennings beats Jordan Lewis. Out route, a gain of 10 and a half. Cowboys are in trouble if you can't get off the field on third and 10. Van Der Esch playing edge now. Makes the, well, kind of makes the play. Makes initial contact. Doesn't finish it as Mitchell falls forward for a gain of two. So Elijah Mitchell getting work at running back here. This is what worried me the most about this defense. Not being able to go off the field on third and longs. They didn't do it there. Second and six. Use check in motion. Hand off up the middle. A clip on DeMonte Casey. No flag. Watch Casey here. Boop. Right behind him. Eh, a little bit to the side. Maybe not so much as it has looked live. Ember kills 23, $10 super. Bottoms up. It was a first down pickup for the San Francisco 49ers. From the 36 or 34 of the Cowboys, Garoppolo hand off again. Mitchell makes a man miss and gets five. Tristan Hill wants a flag for holding. Hill was very upset there was no call there. I mean, that's we, we knew that already. Second and five. Niners marching the football. Inside the 30 now. Garoppolo, play action, boot right. Under pressure, throws it late. Screen to Mitchell. Blown up. It's a loss of like 10. Dorrance Armstrong. A huge play. Third and forever. Garoppolo, they ran a, a play action screen to the back. Or not even a screen. I think that was just a boot right. And Mitchell lost a ton. I don't think it was a design screen. It's designed play action boot right. Yeah, that's not a screen. That is a late check down by Garoppolo. He lost 11, third and 16. Type stop. Get off the field here. Go do it. Play clock at 2. 1, 0. Delay of game. Not called. Garoppolo, there it is. Late whistle. The flag comes out. Third and 21. Keep the stops coming. You made them to have the delay of game. What you'd like to have here is keep the Niners or back them up more at a field goal range here. I think the Cowboys crowd helping out that one. 
Get loud, guys. It'd be about a fifth, about a 60-something yarder from this distance. Parsons looks like he's okay. Third and 21. Crowd getting a little bit louder here. From the 45 now. Garoppolo on the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Gregory coming free. Hit as he throws. Use check. Gets to the 37. 35 maybe. They're going to go under 36. So fourth down coming up. They got him in the field goal range, I think. Robbie Gould coming out for the kick now. Gregory got to Garoppolo, but Garoppolo got rid of the football. Parsons came back, was on the field for that play, by the way. From 53 yards in the right hash, Robbie Gould. Snap is good, hold is good, kick is good. So Dallas trails 10 nothing. Type in your Fs. The third and ten pickup there for Dow for the Niners was huge. They picked up eleven, then had a couple runs, got him in a field goal range, and then ended up getting only negative one yards after that. But that third and ten pickup results in the Niners having an early ten nothing lead. Could have tackled a bit better. Maybe it kept them out of field goal range. Tackling is a big deal for Dallas in this game. That Niners team, Kittle, Samuel, Mitchell, even Juszczyk, Brandon Ayuk, those are some of the best run-after-catch-or-carry guys in the NFL. Juszczyk cost them three yards. You can go ahead and push the right score there, Jeremy. You're good. 10-0, Niners get over the Cowboys. If you haven't already, folks, subscribe for free Cowboys videos every single day right here on the Dallas Cowboys Report. It's YouTube.com slash Cowboys TV. Daily news, rumors, updates, and a whole lot more all season long. I see Jeremy over there making a new pin poll. What you scheming with over there, Chugs? I'm curious to see what it is. Oh, that's a good one. Are you worried? Why for yes and for no? Hey, you know what, Jeremy? Maybe being down 10 will make the Cowboys push it downfield. Just a thought. Because they didn't their first two plays. This, now, this, I'm used to this. Let's, it is not a good start. Make no mistake about that. Make no mistake. That's not a good start whatsoever. But you got to do more there. You, you got to go get some points here. Super Chat just came in. Matthew Cardona, Mike is 0-2 versus Niners in the playoffs. Very different teams. I Honestly, I don't put any stock into that. Uh, Jordan Thomas, Cowboys need hurry-up offense now. That's that key. I would like to be aggressive. That Niners secondary is not good. So attack them. You ran a boot right, which was going to be a, a quick comeback route. Okay. And then you ran it on second and ten. Dumbassery. And then you got sacked because you had no time. No one picked up Bosa on the stunt. Shout out Luis R. for his two super chats, a dollar each. Thank you, my friend, with the, a rose emoji in there. Tristan Brown, who gets fired if we lose? We'll see. That'll be post-game show. All right. Tony Pollard on the return. Makes a man miss 20. 25-30. 35-38. Out of bounds. Pollard. Cowboy, oh, there's a flag. Holding on the Cowboys. Let's boo the refs now, guys. Called it on Gifford. I'd love to see a replay. I just want to see it. I want to know if it was a good call or a bad call. I, I, I just want to see it. That's all. I, I, I just want to see it. If, if family guy, I, I just want to talk. Wow, backed with their own nine now. A 20-yard penalty. Out route Cooper. 
Drops it. So they found Cooper for a gain of five. Dropped it on the hit. I still have not seen if that was a flag or not, but that was a 30-yard penalty. 30-yard difference. So second and 10, Hulk package, two linemen, play action, Prescott, throws, caught by Cooper. That time it's a first down. Type in Coop. Spam the Coops. Dak to Cooper that time. He beats, couldn't tell who that was, Emmanuel Mosley. Second and, or first and 10 from the 19 now. Thanks to the return penalty. Prescott, handoff to Elliott. Elliott gets three and a half, four. Not a great spot. Only would have been a half yard difference. Second and six. Three minutes, 45 seconds to go in the first quarter. Trips right. Wilson, Cooper, and Lamb. Schultz, lone tight end. Press, or Elliott goes in motion. Dak throws it to Elliott, who drops the fucking ball. Number two. N number one. Don't throw, don't design Zeke there. You throw it a little bit high, sure, off the hands of Zeke. Don't use him in that fashion. Use Pollard there. Third and six. Two drops so far and a throwaway and a completion. Prescott in the shotgun. Third and six. Bosa coming. Prescott steps up, avoids the pressure, rolling. A flag comes out. It's a huge pickup. It's not going to matter. I, that, I think, was holding, but I swear to God, these flags. A 30-yard gain coming back for holding. Cowboys have, like, negative 70 yards. They called Williams for that? Yeah, he flung him down late. Yeah, they're going to call that. Cowboys have, like, negative 70 yards thanks to penalties on this drive. Third and forever now. Third and 16. Prescott throws it to Wilson. Laterals it and out of bounds. They tried the lateral to Pollard play, and Wilson missed it. God, they've got the first down if Wilson just connects on it. That was going to work. That was going to work, and Wilson missed it. Kicks away. Anger. Fair catch called for at the 22. So penalties just blast you in the butt on that drive. You get the third down pickup, negated by a hole that was already set you back deep in your own territory. Feels like the Raiders and Cardinals game. Today's show is powered by our sportsbook partner, BetUS. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code COWBOYS125. 125% deposit bonus when you use promo code COWBOYS125. That link is in the live chat right now. It's chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code COWBOYS125. Get you a 125% deposit bonus. And when you do that, email us, jersey at chatsports.com. We will hook you guys up with a Cowboys jersey if you are a new BetUS customer. 
Dak Prescott Navy and Ezekiel Elliott in the color rush are the two jerseys we have for you guys. We will need your BetUS account number, screenshot of your first bet, etc. Email us, jersey at chatsports.com, if you want in on that deal. Our Super Chat menu, by the way, folks, $5, beer cheers. 15 I finished my beer. 20 shot time. 30 double shots, I'll do two. And 50 I'll slap producer Jeremy, or he slaps me. Up to you guys there. Luis R., Matthew Cardona, TJ, I'll put in Super Chats recently. TJ's done with LVE. I get it. Matthew Cardona says penalties on big plays. What's new? Mark Olney says you think Parsons is not fully recovered. I think he's fine there. I'll drink to that one. Jordan says since this is a loss. We're not into the first quarter yet. Everyone relax, at least a little bit. Talk our new DC OC. Lincoln Riley OC. I'm going to stop you right there. Not a chance in hell. You are not getting Lincoln Riley to be your OC. You're not going to be your head coach either. Give up that dream. Mike Zimmer, DC. That's possible. Look, you're, 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 you're talking offseason stuff. We'll get there. Uh, yeah. We are 170 likes. Do another shot, by the way. So like the video. Feels like another Cardinals Raiders game. Two brutal penalties for Dallas. Jimmy G, I form set. Stretch play right. Lawrence blows it up. It's a loss of a yard. Great play there by Tank. Ty C says Dak is overpaid. If you're trying to start your Dak narratives right now, you just haven't been watching the game. I think this ain't, this is not a, a Dak's the problem game so far. This is going to have to be a Dak bails you here. Christopher says Dak is a basic B, trusting Wilson to throw on the trick play. But it was going to work. Wilson has always thrown it well. Like, you got to do it. I mean, that's not Dak's fault for going with the play call. Like, come on, guys. Just say you don't like Dak and move on. John G., refs are cheating us. I knew this would happen. Split slot, handoff. Mitchell breaks a tackle, gets a couple there. And Nighthawks don't have an aneurysm with the penalties continue. I feel your pain. Third down coming up. Type in stop. Man, I'm looking at the dots on that play, but by the way, the, the lateral play from Wilson, they had it. It was going to be a first down, if not a lot more. There was one guy, and he was blocked on that side of the field. Third down, type in stop. Third and five. Got to get off the field here, folks. Got to do it. I swear to God, this is offsides. Did he jump? They're going to talk about it. It's offsides. God damn it. What are you doing? Let me see the replay. See the replay. I don't know about that one. So first down, thanks to that, 32. Jet toss, Ayuk, space, gets nine. Diggs got to take the outside there. You can't cut it in. Gaina will call it nine and a half. They're bringing Ayuk in motion. Gregory's crashing in. He misses. Diggs tries to cut it upfield. He's got to keep contained there. Cost you maybe an extra yard or two. Second and one. This will probably be... Motion for Mitchell. Play clock down to two. Timeout, San Francisco. Are you worried, folks? Why for yes and for no?
By the way, Cowboys Twitter's in meltdown over Trent Williams going like this, moving his leg around. If they jump, I don't know, he's moving. I don't know if that's a false start or not. I don't know what the rules are anymore because you just make them up all the time here. So, why for yes and for no? Probably. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Like, if the left tackle's out there moving his leg, like, that's not supposed to be allowed, I don't think. But it's not a full-fledged move, so is it a flag? I don't know. I don't know. He's not moving forward or back or side to side, just kind of rotating the, the, the leg. I don't know. Second and one. Niners called a timeout. They're going heavy I-form set. Look for a toss here. It is a toss right to Mitchell. Parsons. Brings him down with LVE. Third and three. McCarthy wants a hold. That is it for the first quarter. I think there's also an injured Niner down. So get the stops going here. Get them going. We are at 900 likes. If we get 100 more, I'll crack open another shot. You're going to come do one too? You'll need a shot glass. All right. I'll come take a shot too if we can do it in the next minute, Tom. Next minute, we'll bring on producer Chugs to do a shot too. Next minute. Brandon Edwards, King Rowe, no, Nomadic says stop. Jake, Terry, all Spanish. I need 48 more likes. Yeah, put that jersey back on, Jeremy. Matthew says Chad is blaming Dak, LOL. If you're blaming Dak, you just don't like him. And that's fine. That is within your rights. But all your big plays have been negated <laughs> by penalties. He has thrown five passes. One was a throwaway. The other two were drops. So I don't know what you're, you're going to ask out of, your, uh, out of your team, out of your quarterback when he actually played fine. His biggest play was the 30-yard third down scramble that ca called back for holding. 1,000 likes, Jeremy. Come on up here. Go full screen. Mark Olney says, come on, refs. Obvious hold on that last one. Been a lot of holes, and McCarthy's pissed, by the way. And Ember Kills 23 says, just a super chat, bottoms up. <sighs> Come on up, Jeremy. What do you want, fireball or, or vodka? Six there you go, fireball. Look at, that, look at that handsome young man in a Cowboys jersey. There you go. Nice little shot glass for you, bud. You look great. You look great. Bottoms up. Cheers. Good stuff, buddy. Thanks for being a team player. Appreciate it. Keep the stops coming here. So second quarter about to start. Niners are up 10-0. Third down here. Disaster first quarter for Dallas as Debo in motion. Now back to the left side, third and three. Parsons coming on a delayed blitz over the middle, wide open, missed tackle, Debo Samuel past midfield. Got, got a tackle, guys. Got a tackle. Curse just, that, that's J-Ron Curse. Bad. It would have been a first down. He missed. He missed. He just whiffed on Debo. Absolutely whiffed. Timmy Reynolds, if Steele or Collins moves their leg like that, they call false, false start. Just saying. Probably. Mr. Greg, let's get her done. Go Cowboys. Bottoms up. First and ten. I form set. Stretch left. Mitchell makes a man miss, and Parsons brings him down at the line of scrimmage. No gain.
Parsons has done good so far. Tank's been good too. On his one run stop. Need a turnover here. Need need a turnover. Second and ten. No first quarter touchdown at home for the Cowboys in the last seven playoff games. Yikes. Second and ten. Play clock at one. The snap. It comes late. No flag. Debo handoff behind the line of scrimmage. He gets a yard and a half. Third and long. Got to stop him. Type in stop. Got to stop him here. Debo adjusting that shoe. I think that's the shoe on the sideline. He'll probably stay in the game. Robbie Gould getting warmed up here. He's ready for the field goal try if they don't get it. They are outside the 40, at the 41 and a half yard line. Third down, get the stops going. Empty set look for the Niners. Garoppolo drops back with time, steps up, rolling, looking, throws. Ayuk got the first. You got to get off the field. Third and long has been a problem all year for this Cowboys team. You are not going to win games allowing all these third and longs. You're not going to win games allowing these. Though that's when you got to get off the field. They ran the ball twice. They got one yard. But they throw it for you for 11 on third and nine. You can't let that happen. First and 10, handoff Mitchell. He gets three or four. This was my fear, that you couldn't get off the field on third and long. You've had chances on all these drives to get off the field. You haven't done it. Well, not that first drive. But you've cost yourself points already but with this. Garoppolo under center now. Second and five. Motion for use check. Handoff. Blown up and then broken tackle by Elijah Mitchell. A gain of two, third down. Third and three. We got 11 minutes to go in the second quarter. Been getting the Niners in third down. You haven't gotten them off the field today. Only one you did, not including the penalty one, was on the third and 21. Niners third down and, go, and distance to go was like 10, and they're three of four. Now it's third and three. Shotgun set, use check in motion. Hand off, Debo breaks a tackle. Almost got it, but he's a yard short. God, he got to tackle better. I would go for this if I were San Francisco. 100% I would go for it. Like, just run the ball up the middle, you would get it. They're going to kick it. Wow. I would have 100% gone for that. I don't think they would have stopped you. So, field goal time now. Thankfully, Robbie Gold, right hash, kick, is good. So 13-0, nine minutes and 40 seconds to go in the half. Dallas is down, and the offense has to get going. More penalty yards for Dallas than total yards of offense. All the big plays negated at this point. Nick V says, who deserves to get fired so far? Guys, let's let the game play out. We will break that down afterward. I appreciate the super chat. Let's play the game, and then we'll see. If you win 
I don't care. No one gets fired. You lose, we'll start firing people or at least asking for people to get fired. And if they do get fired, you know we'll break it down right here on the Cowboys Report. YouTube.com slash Cowboys TV. This is the best Cowboys videos out there on the Internet. So if you haven't already, hit that big red button and subscribe for more free Cowboys videos. Yes, if Dallas loses, I'm going to be pissed. I know you're going to be pissed. We should all be mad. This is a game you should win, even still down 13. I think you should go score here and make this a damn ball game. The penalties have not helped, but got to make plays still, even if it is another third down pickup that gets negated by a penalty. We'll see. Oh, this is a text you just got. Are the Cowboys cursed? Why for yes and for no? As your votes come in there, I'll give some shout-outs here. Nick V, who deserves – oh, wait, I mentioned that one. I'm sorry. Matthew Cardona, Dallas forgot how to tackle. Um, yeah. Look, they're not a great tackling team to begin with. Um, but you've got to tackle better. Like, you missed – you've allowed a lot of after-catch, after-run – or after broken or after contact stuff. Like, wrap them up. It could easily be 10 0 if you tackle Kyle Hughes check short of that. My mindset. Alan Williams Super Chat says, Tom, this is feeling like the Denver Las Vegas game. $5 one, by the way, so I'll do a beer cheers for it. Don't think we're getting the win. Feels a little too early for me to say the Denver game. But the uh not the Raiders Cardinals game is what it feels like to me where any time you make a play on offense or special teams like you, you, you gotta just not get the calls or at least not make the penalty like got, you, you gotta get points here bottoms up Kicks away, Pollard, takes it out, running start, his own one. 15, 20, breaks the tackle, 25, 30, 33 on that one. Waiting for a flag. Don't think there is one. New pin pull, would you go? Are, are they cursed? Okay. Do you believe the Cowboys, in the Cowboys, to make a comeback? Why? Yes or no? 72% say yes. Got to start here. Got to start right here. All right. See what Dallas dials up from their own 33. Toss right. Elliott gets a couple, maybe four or five on that one. Swear there was a hold backside, but it wasn't called. All I know is a defender ended up on top of a lineman. Second and five. Nine, ten to go. Prescott under center. Hand off to Elliott up the middle. He gets near the first down. Very generous spot. It is one. Type in first. Uh, Luis says need to score. The game is over. Kind of feels that way. Trucker John Miller, you do realize Paul hasn't ran a single down yet, right? I do. And I don't know why. Now he's in the ball game as part of the heavy set package, that Hulk formation, called wishbone kind of. All in the backfield, McGovern steal. Pollard gets the handoff, bounces it out wide right. Pollard runs over a man, gets to the 49 of San Francisco. A gain of seven. Maybe use Tony Pollard more. I don't know. Zeke's averaging three yards per touch. McGovern in the game now at kind of tight end here. Screen to Lamb, gets the first down and dives for an extra yard. First down, Cowboys. Okay. Might have been a quick RPO, by the way, with the O-line blocking and Dak throwing it to Lamb there. Blood slinger, we need Paul to run the ball. Go, Cowboys. Bottoms up. 
Johnny, Cowboys score this drive, get the ball at half, adjust the Niners, misdirection at half, Cowboys win the game, optimist. Let's hope so. Bottoms up again. First and 10, Pollard still in the game, Cooper in motion. He's lined up in line here. Pollard gets the handoff, cuts it and gets maybe a yard and a half. Great play by Fred Warner, making the tackle there. Had he not made it, that would have been a big one. Mississippi the slot. I like Dallas defense playing the bend but don't break game, but it would work better if the offense was scoring. You also got to get off field when you have third, third and longs. Like, you got to get off field. Second and nine, tempo. Boot right. Prescott to Wilson. Makes a man miss. Wilson makes a man miss. 30. 25 taken down there. First down, Dallas. They went tempo. Sippy, great super chat. Thank you. Bottoms up. All right, Cowboys marching. Didn't catch it. Was coming off the edge of Jordan Willis. Wilson made Mosley miss, made Ward miss, and then finally brought down from behind by Kawan Williams. First and ten. Elliott back in the ball game. No, that's still Pollard. Hand off to TP. Runs forward. Gets just outside the twenty. Called a gain of four. Second down. So a much better drive than all the drives combined early for Dallas. Tom. What's up, Jeremy? Are we in four-down territory right now? I think you have to be. I think you have to be. Unless you, unless you take a sack on third down. Second and six. Handoff. Pollard. Nothing there. Maybe a yard. So, like, if it's fourth Four and down one, territory. If it's fourth and one right here, you're going for it. Absolutely, I am. Be aggressive. You, you need points. I don't trust the defense to get off the field right now. Third and six. You didn't get much on the second and six run. Inside the Bet US red zone now. It's really third and five and a half. Elliott motions out wide. Prescott empty set. Bosa lined up over Connor Williams. Don't like that. Prescott, end zone shot. Cooper, touchdown Cowboys, there we go! What a pitch and catch, Dak to Amari! Touchdown Cowboys! Perfect pitch and catch, perfect throw by Dak to Amari for the TD. There we go, baby, right back in this shit. One, two, three, touchdown Cowboys, let's go! Three feet in. Huge points by Dallas. Type in Coop or TD as Zer, the kicker. Extra point. Dead center. Good job, kicker. I said it, I know. I said part of it. I'll do a small one. All right. That was a great drive by Dallas. They absolutely had to have it. Pollard got involved on the ground. Zeke through the air. What's up? What's up, Brett? You're right. That, that's a great point. Great, great job by Harrison. Who pointed this out? Zerline kicked that extra point from the center. Damn it! The kicker. I'm doing a shot at this point. Let's just let's just do a poll. I mean, it's, I'm gonna keep saying it. I I I, I own a poll at this point. Um, the kicker. Uh. Did that from the center of the hashes, not from the left side. He's missed left a lot this year. So this is for me saying the kicker's name. Bottoms up. Today's show powered by our sportsbook partner, BetUS. -hoo -hoo. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet. I got to be careful with those. Promo code, I also a shot because we're past uh, $400 in super chats. So I'll do one of those too, vodka shot. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code Cowboys125 will get you a 125% deposit bonus. And up until the end of today's game, we'll get you guys a Cowboys jersey. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code Cowboys125. They got put down 100 bucks. $100 minimum deposit. It'll get you a 125% deposit bonus and a jersey. We have two available. Zeke Elliott in the color rush. Dak Prescott in the Navy. Those are the two that we have. So if you want in, 
Email us, jersey at chatsports.com. We'll get you guys hooked up. I'll put the email in the comments as well. All right. So what will happen? That was for the $4 Super Chat. That pocket goes down smooth. What happened this drive? Touchdown, field goal, turnover, or punt for the Niners. They're coming up here. I owe some Super Chats here. I'm going to get the touchdown of the play on my Twitter momentarily. Matthew Cardona says, I'm a, I've been a Zeke guy, but, I mean, can't say much. Let me get the Zeke, the Cooper touchdown here real quick. In, in they, my he opinion. Did. Oh, no, you're right. He did. They definitely did. The middle of that drive, Pollard is the one that kind of brought the juice. We're yeah, I agree. Five, six yard I, I I think you are 100% right there, Jeremy. That Pollard uh, introduction at last to the offense, I think, is a big deal. I think that that is a very big deal and, for the offense. And, Tom, do you know what that proves? Feed Pollard? Well, that. And rumor has it is that Jerry Jones watches the Cowboys report during the games as well. I think you're right. And maybe he, and he heard, buzzes down. Maybe he heard that super chat and yeah. was like, you know what? We haven't gotten Pollard enough uh, right. touches. Uh, Matthew all says, uh, beautiful throw, great route back in the game. Johnny says, told you, score this drive. Cowboys adjust to win the game. Wasn't a prediction. He's a time traveler. Let's hope so, Johnny. It, you're right. It, it's also the, the, Nick, uh, the, the Nick game. Trucker John Billy says, the stress these boys put us fans in. Woof. They are the cardiac Cowboys after all. Garoppolo, boots right. All damn day. Downfield. Wide open. Brandon Ayuk. Van Der Esch can't bring him down to the 40. And rocked by DeMonte Casey. Jesus. What happened here? Diggs traveling with Ayuk across the... Oh, he just lost him. Diggs just cut him acro cut across the field too much. That's on Trayvon. Big play allowed. Now go make the interception play. Niners back inside the 40. Toss right to Mitchell. Taken down. Malik Hooker getting held. Didn't matter. It's a loss of one. A TFL. Type in TFL. That was by Malik Hooker. Second and 11 coming up. Stephon Diggs is in attendance today. Watching little bro. Second and 11. Yeah, Diggs did not do a great job on that play. He just, he just lost his depth and got too far upfield. Got to take it wider. Second and 11, empty set look. Parson showing pressure. Free man, it's Golston. Throw over the middle, caught. It's a gain of a couple. Great tackle by LVE. Duncan says, I was one of 30%. Never quit on the Cowboys. They don't quit on us. They gave you a hundred shot. Sure, why not? We'll do fireball here. Third down. Type and stop. Thanks, Duncan. I appreciate that. I'll also do a beer cheers slash chaser for you. Niners have dominated time of possession, but the defense has to get off the field on third downs. This one, third and six. Oh, how they need it. Three minutes, 15 seconds to go in the half. Inside the 35, they're in field goal range. Cowboys bring five. Garoppolo tipped at the line, incomplete. Big stop. That was almost picked by Malik Hooker. Gregory got home. Bottoms up. Gregory against the guard. Got there. Jimmy G grabbed that. Was that his arm or his nuts that he was grabbing? Dorrance Armstrong tipped it, fourth and six. Beer cheers for Duncan. Spam shank. Spam it. Make it happen. Fourth and six. 52-yarder, center hashes. Kick is on the way. Looks good if it has the distance. It does. Robbie Gold has been awesome for San Francisco. So 16 to seven is the score in this one. Sixteen seven, the Niners lead after that quick scoring drive. Set up 
by a 37-yard play to Jimmy Garoppolo. The ground game has not been the issue for Dallas. San Francisco has is averaging 3.6 yards per carry. That's it. The passing game, though, is 11 of 14, averaging 9.5 yards per play. That has been your issue at this point. Folks, if you have not already, hit that big red button and subscribe for free videos every single day on America's team. We're live for all the games. Hope to be live next week for Cowboys Bucks. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. Let's go, Cowboys. If not, after today's game, we will melt down in proper fashion. And we will call for firings and or cuts. I can promise you on that one. Don't you start with me, Jeremy. I'm going to smack you around a little bit. $50 job by I'll slap producer Jeremy. have not had one yet today. I will shout out the Matthew Cardona. I wish we had a kicker that dependable. Thank you, Matthew. And Kool-Aid Master says, drink every time LVE actually does something good. He's going to have plenty of chances today to do some good stuff there. So Cowboys here have a chance with about, we'll call it three minutes to go in the half, to do exactly what they need to do. Two for one. Go get points before the end of the half. They get the ball to start the second half. And by points, for the record, I do mean seven. The defense hasn't broken outside of that first drive, but they have allowed a pretty good amount of yards. They have not done a great job on third downs. Three of six so far today. It's above 50%, and there's only been one short one that they've had. They probably should be more like, actually, it's really four of seven with the penalty one that's not included there. So question for this drive here. How badly do the Cowboys need to score here? I'm not all the way out of 10. There is still a path in which Dallas can win this football game if they don't score here. But I'm at like an 8. I need points here. I don't feel good about it if they don't score here. Not, not game over, but I don't feel good about it. See, 9.5, 4 to 10. 8, 9, 10, 8.5, 9, 9, 9, 9, 10, 9, 8, 10, 10, yeah. Touchback here, so Dallas will start with the ball at their own 25-yard line. 8, 10, 10, 6.9, 10, 9, 10, 8, 10, 10, 6.9, 9, 8.5. Yeah, they need to go score. We all know that. I think that makes sense, right? Let's see what the Cowboys can do here. They're showing old games again, which is fine. Or show a bunch of catch. That game, but they had all the turnovers. There were so many turnovers in that game. All right. First and 10 for Prescott in the shotgun. Elliott to his right. Niners bring pressure. Cooper over the middle. Right at the marker. I think it's a game of nine and a half. Type in Coop. Fastball offense back there going tempo. Second and one. Second and three quarters. Prescott. Handoff, Elliott dancing around. Man, they lost yards there. O-line got worked. Maybe back to the original line of scrimmage. There's also an injured Niner down. That is Jordan Willis, one of the rotational edges opposite Nick Bosa. So 2.28 to go in the half. It is third and one coming up here for Dallas. Not being able to get a yard on second and one. Seen this before, that not being able to get it there. So we'll have on this drive, folks. Touchdown, field goal, turnover, or punt. It is Jordan Willis who is down here. Hopefully he is okay. No, nothing severe. That, that, by the way, is the O-line's fault. There was nothing there on that run. Not, it's not, not a Zeke issue. It's an O-line issue. He was, he was about to be hit in the backfield, and he did a good job to get back to the original line of scrimmage. Although, you know, I wouldn't hate seeing more Tony Pollard. Got more yards on fewer opportunities already today than Zeke. So, touchdown, field goal, turnover, or punt. 
They did, by the way, I'll make note, uh, the screen to CeeDee Lamb went in the box score as a run. So the Cowboys actually have run the ball more because of that than they've thrown it. Included as a pass play, it's a 50-50 balance, which you guys all want. Not all of you. Some of you want. But one of them is averaging almost 3x the yards per game. Third and one. Step one is to get the first down. Then operate your offense here. I'd still consider this four-down territory. Heavy, heavy, heavy set for Dallas. One receiver. Prescott. Hand off to Elliott. Elliott dancing. Face mask gets the first down. Throw the face mask flag. Let me see the replay here. Because I thought he got face mask pretty clearly. Show the replay, CBS. Show the replay. I hate you, CBS. F the refs. I'm, like, I, I, I'm watching live. We miss stuff all the time. That sure as hell looked to me like Zeke went like this across his face. It, it might not have been a face mask, but I'd like to see a replay here. At, at least. Like, his head moved like it was a face mask. They did get the first down. Type in first. I, I just want to see the, the replay here. That, that, that's, that's, that, that's all I want. I just want to see the replay. Like, I just, I just want to see if it was a face mask or not. Like, that, the, I thought that was a flag. They got the first down. Great job by Zeke there to get that first down. There was nothing there on the toss play. Again, the run game is not working very well. Like, that should be, a, I, I thought, a free 15 yards. Do the refs hate the Cowboys? Why for yes and for no? Get your votes in for me. Should be yes. Refs also hate all the teams because refs suck at their jobs because they're cheeks. Refs always are bad. We saw that in all the games this week, right? Except maybe Bill's Patriots. All, I mean, of course it is. Yeah, I'm not surprised there. I, I, I am going to be very upset if we don't get a replay here. Like, that's, that's what I want. Also, stop running the football so much. Why have you run it 11 times for 31 yards and your second best play is a screen that counted as a run? Oh, they, oh yeah, you got to play all these commercials, right? Uh, there are so many damn commercials. Elliot got the first down. When we come back, it'll be first and 10 Cowboys when the game comes back. From the 35-yard line. I, I would hope that you immediately open up with a, with a replay of the non, potentially non-face mask call. They're not going to, though. Shout out Lewis R. for his super chat. Empty set. Three timeouts. Two-minute warning at their own 35-yard line. Prescott now motions Zeke back in line. He drops back to pass. Pressure coming. A rocket dropped by Cedric Wilson. Was a bit behind him, but through the hands of Dak Prescott or of Cedric Wilson, from Dak Prescott. I, I think Dak thought Wilson was going to settle in the zone. I'd bet all of my money Dak thought Wilson was going to sit in that zone, which, with the guy cutting across the middle, maybe he should have. Second and ten. Prescott drops back. It's a screen in the dirt to Zeke. Why are you running a screen? God, stop it. It doesn't work. The screens do not work for this team. Stop running them. Why did you run a screen on second? and Now it's third and long. God, this play calling sucks. Third and forever. It's 10 yards. Elliott motions in line. Niners showing pressure, dropping out of it. Will they bring it? Looks like four guys coming off the left side here. Mosley playing pressure. They only bring it off the right side. Dak looking over the middle. Caught it. It's a first down. 
Dalton Schultz. Quarterback bailed you out on third down. Type in first. Stop the screens. Niners brought pressure off the, the opposite side. They showed it. The Cowboys picked it up, and Dak found Schultz. Minute 45, first and 10 from the 47. Prescott drops back. Quick pass. Cooper looking around, dancing, runs upfield, gets seven. Clock is running. Minute 30 to play in the ball game. From the 45 of the Niners now. Cooper's got four, 47, and a touchdown. Niners bring pressure. Dak to Schultz. Breaks a tackle out of bounds at the 40. Didn't really gain that much there. It's a first down Cowboys. Matthew Cardona says Zeke blocked two guys right there. I didn't mention it. You're right, I should have. That was a fantastic blitz pickup by Zeke. Cowboys thought it was coming off the left side, and that is why you have Zeke on the field there to pass protect in that exact situation. But Pollard's on the field. You're right, William, for your super chat. First and 10, the 39. Prescott, under pressure, throws it, rocked. Pollard could not bring it in. There's a flag. Wait a minute. Another hold. As Bosa's down. That's a big deal for San Francisco. They called it on Lyle Collins. You know what? That should have been hands to the face. That wasn't a hold. That was illegal hands to the face as Bosa then got kind of head into 93 for San Francisco, DJ Jones. So timeout, minute 15. That really was a flag. So right call. How badly here do the Cowboys need to score? Scale it 1 to 10. I'm not at a 10. At an 8 or a 9. Get your votes in here. I'm going to sip some water real quick because I need it. My throat's already drying out. I see a lot of 10s in there. I get it. Hope Nick Bosa's okay. He went, he was going down and kind of got hit up this way and like the hip knee of DJ Jones. So some accidental friendly fire there. That was a flag, by the way. That was a correct call. It should have been hands to the face off the front. Like, he got him right there, right there. Now, we'll be live for the rest of today's game and a post-game show as well. Hope it's preview against Tampa, because otherwise we'll be calling for a lot of heads to get fired here. So subscribe. We'll have our post-game show and free videos every single day for the rest of the playoffs and into the offseason and for the rest of eternity. So subscribe, if you have not already, right here to the Dallas Cowboys Report at YouTube.com. Slash Cowboys TV. Jordan Thomas says, boys just need a field goal. Getting the ball after half. They need points. They do need points. I do not trust the kicker. I, I would feel a lot better if they get seven here. Maybe I'll call it six, but seven here. Yeah, Tom. I mean, it, it was less of a hold, frankly, and more of an illegal hands to the face. Like he just he popped him here, both hands, and then grabbed him with the, with the face mask, too. On a scale of one to triggered, how triggered will you be if the kicker misses a field goal as time expires in the half? I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> Is Brett still here? Oh, there are going to be so many F-bombs. <laughs> just warning you now, if the kicker misses, I'm going to be oh so mad. John or truck, Trucker John Billy says, I want revenge on Tom Brady. Thank you. First and 20. Bosa walk on the sidelines from the 49 now. Cal Niners playing off here. Prescott drops back, rolling to his right. Pressure coming behind Dalton or Blake Jarwin again. Dak thinks Jarwin's going to sit 
and he did not. So second and 20. Again, the penalties kill you. Cowboys have been one of the best teams in the final two minutes of the first half. Elliott comes in motion from outside back to the left of Prescott. Aziz Al-Shair dancing around. Is he coming on a pressure? Looks like it. He does. Plus the right side. Dak avoids the sack. Now throws it to Elliott. Elliott gets to the original line of scrimmage. Nothing else. That corner blitz, the Cowboys were not prepared for. They showed it very late. Third and 19. Play clock is run Game clock is running. 46. 45. You got to get at least 10 to get in the field goal range, most likely. Prescott in the shotgun. He drops back. Over the middle. Did Wilson lose that in the sun? I think he just lost it in the sun. Uh, Wilson did not react for that ball. Oh, my God, he ducked under it. <laughs> he never saw it. Thanks, Jerry, for building a stadium. You can't see shit. Kicks away by anger. That's on Jerry for building a stadium in that direction. That would have got him into field goal range. So the Cowboys marching the football. There's a penalty. Backs him up 10 yards. Dak misses Blake Jarwin. Might have thought miscommunication. We'll blame it on Dak in the end. O-line doesn't pick up a blitz. Dak does a great job to find Zeke for no gain. Dak throws a rocket to Wilson to put him in field goal range. And Wilson never saw it in the sun because your owner doesn't understand how the sun works and built the direction of the stadium in the wrong way. First and 10 is you guys can grade the Cowboys today, A, B, C, D, or F. D? I don't know. Motion, handoff, Mitchell gets a couple to about the nine. I would suspect that's the final play of the half. Does Dallas call a timeout? They did, so we're not yet. Second down. Second and three coming up here. You, the roof is closed, guys. It's the, the, I don't know, put some blinds in? <laughs> Use the curtains. Like, come on, guys. Bosa heading the locker room early here. Hand off Mitchell. Gets stood up. Third and two coming up here. Cowboys call timeout. You're going to try to block it, I assume, here. Third and two. Do you just not send anybody back and just have everybody on the line? Probably. That's probably what I would do. Go go for the block. Or do you send a second guy back and do, do the, the trick play? Those, I think, are your two options here. That's very risky, though, to do the trick play. Well, you got to get the stop first and foremost, third and two. Short two is a good spot. I form. Hand off. Mitchell gets the first down, so it doesn't matter. That'll be it for the first half. Dallas trails San Francisco 16-7. to seven. So we'll take a break here in a minute. Subscribe if you have not already. Get your votes in. Grade the Cowboys so far. Producer Jeremy will build our halftime scoreboard for you. Some stats for you guys here as your votes come in to grade the Cowboys so far. 
C or D sounds about right. Dak is 9 of 16, 89 yards and a touchdown. There are also two drops and a throwaway mixed in there. The ground game is non-existent for Dallas. 11 carries, 31 yards, five of those coming via the CeeDee Lamb screen. The penalties, I think, have been the single biggest issue for the Cowboys. Five penalties, 39 yards, and if you factor in the plays that they took away, it's a good 70 yards of total penalties lost on just two of them. The return was a 30-yard difference, and the... Um, the, uh, the, the throw to land, which gained 32, cost you another 10 on a holding call. So there's 70 right there. It was an absolutely massive issue there. One penalty on San Francisco. They have dominated the time of possession. The yards, Niners have almost doubled up, San, or doubled up the Cowboys. They've only got 70 on the ground, 3.7, but Jimmy G has balled out on third downs so far today. That has been a problem for the Dallas Cowboys, they trail 16-7. to I will also shout out Jordan Thomas's Super Chat here. This, this, this looks just like the 2016 game against the Packers. Second half, the Cowboys will storm back. Hopefully, they win instead of just losing by a field goal. Gotta, you got to avoid these penalties. They, they have been killers. They've killed multiple drives for you already today. They've kept the opposing team out there on the field. The numbers only say 5 for 39, but you lost 70 yards with the penalties included on one drive. You lost a 30-yard 30, a 30 difference in the kick return, 40-plus on a throw to C.D. Lamb on third down, mind you, and now you're in third and forever and you were cooked. Cowboys ground game, it's not working. Passing game, doing better, not quite perfect, not quite what you want it to be, a Maybe two missed throws here by Prescott. Maybe three in the end. Drops also hurting the Cowboys at this point. So that's been a problem so far for the Cowboys. Jimmy G, 11 of 14 for 133. It's a real problem for you. You cannot have that. I, I, I wasn't as worried about the ground game. Yes, it's done great. 19 carries, 70 yards, touchdown. That's been great. Getting off the field on third downs. That is what this Dallas Cowboys team has to do, and they did not do it in the first half. It cost them three to six points. I mean, you were going to get seven on that opening drive because they just kicked your butt in the end. I think you're going to see some good stuff from Shanahan coming out of the half. So this next drive is a 10. You have to go get points. You have to tackle better. Mercy Grace is if this was Tampa, we would be buried working on it now. You can't start slow. You've got to play better. This is a very poor first half overall for the Cowboys. I would agree, Mercy. Rico Suave, who the hell built the stadium east to west? I don't know. Especially for a team who plays a lot in the afternoon. I don't get it. And Stone Cold 10X says, still, right the first, still in it despite the bad half. I would agree. So halftime here, we're going to take a break. The Niners. Need the Cowboys 16 to 7.
All right, we're back. Second half coming up in a little bit. There were some super chats that we missed while we were at break here. First up from Christopher Lowe. This looks like Dak and Kellen against every competitive opponent. Hyperbole, I know what you mean. Um, I'm not really that upset with the way Dak has played. There have been a couple missed throws. Every quarterback misses throws. Um, I'm more upset with the design of the game. Why are you? Why do you have Zeke Elliott as your leading your leading rusher and has three targets as well. Why does Zeke have three targets and Tony Pollard has zero? I don't, I don't really track that. Why were you running the ball up the middle so much? You're going to have to air it out. That was going to be your best path anyway. And Dallas didn't really do it uh, in this game. They're averaging under three yards per carry. And that is inflated by a five-yard screen that went to uh, CeeDee Lamb. The Super Chat battle, by the way, as I have a beer cheers for that one. Don't let it happen, guys. First off, 420. Nice. Let's make sure we beat the 49ers report on this Super Chat battle. I can't take all of the L's today. I can't do it. Also, Brian Engel says, I want Kellen Moore to get a head coaching job so Dallas can get a real OC. My nightmare, of course, is that they just promote Ben McAdoo. I'd rather just have Kellen. But... I get it. Second half of the game. Go show what you're worth, Kellen. Call the good plays, not the stupid runs and screens. The second and ten screenplay, what the f are you doing? You're lucky the quarterback bailed you out on that play. So who you got? Or then the next play, I should say. Four for the Niners, C for the Cowboys. Their best drive on offense came when Pollard was heavily featured. I'd do that. American Iker, 96. Not feeling good about this, or great about this. Neither am I. The offense can score. They got to go do it quickly. Speaking of score, what will happen on this drive? Touchdown, field goal, turnover, or punt? First and 10, it is Cowboys football, of course. No Nick Bosa out there. It's a big deal. Under center for Prescott. First plays a handoff to Zeke for no game. What the fuck are you doing? Stupid. Stupid. It's not working. First play is a handoff to Zeke and it goes zero yards. They gave him a gain of one. He didn't get anything. He got back maybe to the original line of scrimmage. Unbelievable. It's not working. Do something different. Second and nine and a half. Cooper in motion. Dak drops back. Quick pass to Schultz. He gets five of it. Now you're in third and five. Third down. Now your quarterback's got to bail you out again. Because you're in a stupid first down play. Third and four. It's, it's third and four and a half, to be honest. Prescott in the shotgun. Tries to ID a blitzer. Did he ID it right? And there's a false start. False start. Connor Williams, but the entire offensive line moved there. Both le the left side of the line moved. Third and forever. Got to have your quarterback bail you out again because your team sucks. Third and nine and a half. Got to get to the 35. I swear to God, another fucking false start. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's on Collins now. So now it's third and 14. Good luck getting this one. Run the Cedric Wilson lateral play again. Lamb is lined up in the backfield, now goes back out wide. Schultz doesn't know what he's doing. 
Snap comes. Niners bring four. Prescott, under pressure, gets sacked. The offensive line just killed a drive by themselves. Uh, you're trying to buy time and your center gets worked. Offensive line just killed a drive by themselves. Roughing the punter. It's not going to be a first. It's a punt away. Brought in by Benjamin from the 30 to the right side and gets to the 32. Anger got roughed. Roughing the kicker. It's an automatic first down. Thank you, Niners special teams. By Mark Nizocha, Cowboys legend. They just took out anger, and the Cowboys now have a life thanks to that. Lucky break for Dallas. First and ten, the Niners have been one of the worst special teams units in the NFL all year. It's a toss to Elliott. Cuts it back. Does a great job there to get about nine. So the O-line, again, was cheeks on that play. But it's a first down pickup. Yeah, I don't know why you're not running Pollard on these toss plays. Like, put Pollard in the game, man. That was the best run by Zeke all day. Shout out to uh, Ty C and trucker John Billy for their super chats. Get those in the next media timeout. Bottoms up. Second and one. Elliott the handoff gets the first down. Type in first. So thanks to the roughing the punter penalty, the Cowboys have the ball back after, frankly, one of the worst drives I saw them have all year. Prescott, boot right, under pressure. There should have been a flag there. There was not. Prescott looking, tucks and slides for a gain of a couple. Not a pretty slide, but, it you know, positive yards. He ran it. Second and seven. Nick Bosa is officially questionable to return. Good job by Quaywan or Quan Williams to not hit the head of Prescott. Got him right here. Would have been dumb if he did. Mark Nazocha, Cowboys legend, in shambles on the sidelines. Second and seven, Hulk package. God, why is this better be play? This is gonna be play action, though. It is play action. Prescott. Heaves one, downfield to Wilson, should have been picked. It was not. Here's the problem. We all knew that was going to be play action. All of us knew it. When they came out in the halt package, they knew it was going to be P.I. Yeah, why is that a deep shot to Cedric Wilson? He just whiffed it. So Cowboys got away with one there. He just kind of missed it. Third and seven. I don't like a deep shot to Wilson. I just don't get it, man. Third and seven. Average yard skill has been 11.3. Holy shit. Uh, Prescott drops back. Under pressure. Hit as he throws. Incomplete. Lamb wants a flag. He didn't get it. So all that for nothing. You got a punt here. Manuel Mosley in coverage on C.D. Lamb. The ball kind of fluttered as it came out. Dak got hit as he threw. Fourth and seven. I, I could see him faking it. Anger's punt is away. It's a terrible one. It hit the video board. So we do it again. <laughs> it hit the video board. Anger, I mean, very clearly hit the video board. So 
So we're going to do it again, folks. That's what happens when it hits the video board. Great design work by Jerry. Fourth and seven. So we've got the sun costing you potentially three points because Wilson never saw it. And now the punt hits the video board. Now your defenders are a bit more tired. Fourth and seven. From the 45. Low snap brought in. Anger away. Not hit the video board this time. Fair catch called for at the six. That is where the Niners will take over. A lot of super chats on copy here, so we'll, we'll go to the uh, the menu here. Uh, first was, I think the most, oh, Matthew Cardona. Even if we don't make Super Bowl, I'm still watching to see Kendrick, Lar Kendrick Lamar perform. Go. Respect. Bottoms up. JM, Cowboys choke against good teams. Statistically, not true, but I get it. Ty C, we need a center to guard. Draft them. Yeah. Your left guard, your good one's a free agent. Your other one's better at right guard, and your center's been blech. I agree there, Ty C. Trucker John Billy says, OMG, huge break. Gave you an extra 20 yards. Didn't end up meeting much. Vlogging my life as JoJo says, quick question, Tom. What is the difference between roughing the kicker and running the kicker? So plant leg. If you take out the plant leg, it's roughing because that leads to injuries. It's more dangerous. You don't allow the kicker to land. If you hit the, the, the non-plant leg, it'll just be running. But you take out, normally it ends up being the entire kicker is how that ends up working, and you end up getting that there. Uh, Matthew Cardona says Dak is getting harassed back there. This is, this is the, uh, the summation of Cowboys fans, these back-to-back -back Super Chats here. Uh, Dak is getting harassed, harassed all the time. I'm a and then America Hiker says, I'm a Dak guy. He's playing terribly. He's been middling today. He has not been great, Dak Prescott. Um, the, the biggest issue is some of your best plays have been negated. When you're in third and long against this defense with the way your offensive line is playing, you're in a lot of trouble. So maybe don't run the ball so much on, on first down. Uh, maybe on second and seven, don't run the world's like everybody in this team knew that was going to be play action. Like they have run that Hulk package. I think three times, I think all three have been a play action. Like, it, it's, it's very telegraphed. Uh, the double, double, double coverage, throw it deep to Wilson. I get that's the design. Don't throw that. It's not open. Don't throw it. Also, why is it designed to Cedric Wilson? That's not something you should be doing, I don't believe. If you're going to do it, do it to Lamb. He's like your king of making contested catches. So you need more from Dak. I don't think he's the biggest reason why you're losing. I think both those things are true. TJ says Diggs blows coverages all the time. I don't know why you all care about interceptions. Also, penalties is a reflection of discipline, i.e. head coach. Cheers. He's boom and bust. He's allowed the one big catch so far today. My biggest problem with Diggs, actually, he's got to be a better tackler. Those yards would go way down if he didn't allow so many missed tackles. Of uh, penalties, the flip di discipline? Yeah, I think you're right. Also, Adam Ward, dollar. Thank you. I'll finish this beer in a second. First and 10 for the rest of the beer cheers. Grappolo shotgun. Hand off. Mitchell up the middle. Parsons just being held. There's the flag for it. Like Parsons was turned around, held like this. Bottoms up. Holding on the Niners. They finally flagged it. That one was pretty obvious. Lake and Tomlinson gets flagged for it. Safety? Nick Bosa, by the way, officially out. It's a concussion for Bosa. He got right the hip and bent back. Head to hip. That looked really painful. First and 13. Handoff up the middle. Mitchell gets a couple, second and long. Uh, Jameel Solomon, Super Chats, is in this upcoming draft. We want a complete overhaul of the offensive line. It's terrible. Only one we should keep is Zach Martin. We need a lineman badly. I ain't going to complain about drafting more linemen. Got some pending F8 free agents that are going to be some issues, by the way. 
Second and 11. Still no Kelvin Joseph. Screened Ayuk. Blown up. Oh, but they blow the flag for a pre-snap penalty. What's it for? False starter offsides. It's offsides. It's on Parsons. Come on, guys. He just jumps. You can't jump. These penalties are killer. It was going to be third and 13. Now it's second and five. Just unacceptable. Now the Niners can run it if they want to. It's a play action. Garoppolo, Lawrence giving chase. He throws it downfield. Incomplete. Lewis in coverage on use check, third and five. You got to get off the field here. You got to do it. Spam stop. They're backed up. It was not even catchable. You got to get, got to get the stop here. You need it. Your punter backed them up. You can get a field position flip if you get off the field. Come on, D. Where's the sack? Where's the digs pick six? Third and five. Parsons showing pressure. Jimmy G drops back. They bring the house. Garoppolo. First down. Jennings beats Anthony Brown. Single business, non penalty issue for the defense. They can't get off the field on third downs. You get them in third and five, you bring pressure, and you don't get it. You got to get off the field there. You got to. Jimmy G, boot right. Oh, there's space. He throws downfield, batted in the air, almost picked. Jaron Curse almost made an unreal play. God, they needed that. So close by Curse. Great job to bat it in the air. He skied for it. He just couldn't find it falling to the ground. So close. You needed that one. You needed that same type of play by curse against Arizona. You couldn't do it. Second and 10 from the 25. Garoppolo, toss up the middle, making Debo, making man miss. He gets seven. So another third down. Third and two. They kind of crashed everybody backside towards the toss side, and Debo cut it back. Third and two. You got to get off the field here. Jennings rocked Diggs backside, by the way. He's upset about it. Maybe don't be soft, defense. Third and two. Jennings in motion right to left. Jimmy G rolls that way. Gregory hits him as he throws. Incomplete. They got the stop. Diggs, don't get a flag out there drawing with Jennings. He didn't get one. I'd have been so mad. Because, like, technically, that should be taunting. Also, what was that route combo? You're, you roll Jimmy G to the left. Jennings and Ayuk are basically within arm's length. They were in arm's length. That's bad. Lamb on this return. Punts away. Fair catch called for at his own 23. That is where is Joseph and I think, is that Taylor drawing? Again, don't get flags here, guys. Don't do it. It's Rich, not Richie James. 
If you haven't already, folks, head over to our sportsbook partner, BetUS, and we have the Cowboys jersey deal available for you guys through kickoff. Chatsports.com slash bet, promo code Cowboys125. It'll get you a 125% deposit bonus. Again, that link will be in the live chat for you guys. Got to put down 100 bucks. If you do that, it'll get you the deposit bonus and a Cowboys jersey if you email us, jersey at chatsports.com. Really simple email, just jersey, chatsports.com, right? Pretty straightforward. Two are available. Dak Prescott in the Navy. We've got that one for you guys. And Ezekiel Elliott in the Color Rush. Those are the two. The link and the email are in the live chat for you guys right now. Those are the two. We'll need your BetUS account number, screenshot of your first bet, and tons of other stuff as well. But just email us, jersey at chatsports.com. How badly do the Cowboys need to score? Skill at 1 to 10. It's a 10 as far as I'm concerned. Some super chats one caught up here. Um, Joe Ramirez, I see Jason Garrett and Scott's offense here. It's troubling that this team for years has been so committed to the run when they really should not be. This year especially, you got away from the stuff that was working. It's, it's a problem. Uh, Bloodslinger says, how many times has Dak come from behind in his career? Dak has 10 fourth quarter comebacks. That, is, that does not include total games, but kind of feels like it's going to be a fourth quarter comeback. Done it twice this year, Chargers and the Patriots. He only had one in 2020. He's averaged almost four outside of his injured year overall. American Hiker, I'm dying on the inside. New beer time. This is hard to watch. Matthew Cardona defense has kind of uh, has played kind of solid better as the game goes. I agree. Uh, he just got to get some stops here. So we'll find out. Bottoms up. I owe like four beer cheers. All right. It has not been the ref's fault today. So, oh, new pin poll. Cowboys need to score. Why for yes and for no. And vote in the poll. Pollard in the game. Heavy set. Play action. Prescott. Deep out. Air mails it. The heavy set into play action. Oh, yeah, Goodell's intense today. The heavy set into play action is very predictable, and no one is open because it's obvious. Now it's second and ten. Just go empty. Go shotgun. Not Kellen's best game. Far from it. Second and ten from the 23. Prescott resets, throws, caught, first down, Schultz. A big pickup. The safety blanket gets open. I think it's still Cooper, who has been silent since his touchdown catch. Like, why does Cedric Wilson have five targets? Why does Dalton Schultz have four and Zeke have three? It doesn't make any sense to me. This doesn't. First and ten. Trips left. No pre-snap motion. Quick pass to Schultz. Gets the catch. Cuts it back. Spins out of a tackle and does a good job. We get eight. Are they going to call off holding on Wilson? Another fucking penalty? Another penalty blocking the back on Cedric Wilson. You can't do it. It is one. He got him right here. He got him in the back. Every time you get going on offense, you back yourself up. Now it's first and 15. Prescott drops back. Free rusher. Avoids it and gets sacked. J. 
Just a disaster. No chance. Williams got fucking worked. Second and 28. Prescott. Picked. Hit as he throws. See y'all next year. Let's go home, boys. We're done. Who y'all want fired? Good night, y'all. Bad throw by Dak. I think he thought Wilson was going somewhere else. Bad throw. First interception since week 14. Maybe they don't get into second and 28 and they'd be okay. Hand off, Debo making men miss. Bye-bye, Debo. That's ball game. They're fucked. Touchdown, Niners. Who y'all want fired? Make that the, the, the way in, Jeremy. First play is a Debo Samuel handoff, and nobody even touches him. They bring pre-snap motion with Elijah Mitchell. LVE follows because they're in man, and there's just nobody over there. Parsons, KZ, Curse gets sucked in. Extra point is good. It's 23-7. No, no, no. Who, who, who want fired? Let's do that one. You got to fire people. You're getting your ass kicked at home in the playoffs. Your penalties have been an embarrassment again. You got yourself into second and forever like three different times in this game. Your O-line is cheeks. Your quarterback is not bailing everybody out like you need him to, but he hasn't been very good. You stuck to a bunch of shitty play calling from Kellen Moore. You're force-feeding Cedric Wilson is your leading target guy. Uh, what are we doing out here? What, what are we doing? Disaster. This is a shit show. Like, it's just everything that could have gone wrong in this game has. You've got to get it going. Who has played well today? Parsons? Schultz? Cooper? That's about it, right? Quarterback hasn't been very good. Granted, I don't know what quarterback would play well in this situation, but he didn't make more plays. He hasn't. Matt, yeah, that's what Matthew Cardona said. Or, or, sorry, tr tr Trucker John Billy. I don't think it was pass interference. I, the, the defender has as much of a right to that ball as the receiver does. Clearly, Dak, I think, thinks Wilson's going to sit on the outside. Wilson turns inside, which I, I would be willing to say is probably how the corner had played it. Corner, If the corner gives you – the corner is giving you the inside leverage – you take the inside. If he's giving you the outside, you take the outside. Now, I want to go back and watch it, but also, he's not that open in the first place. Also, why are you dialing up a second and 28 hitch route? Like, there's so much of like, this, 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 and this. all oh, sucks. So, fire whoever you want. It's a disaster at this point. Your only hope here is to actually push the ball downfield because you've been so committed to trying to establish and feed Zeke He's got 12 targets and or catches or carries for 25 yards. What are we doing out here? Why? CeeDee Lamb's got two targets all game. Is Cooper's been quiet since his touchdown. Like, what are we doing here? Is Kellen Moore overrated? Yeah, he's overrated. I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm, I'm out on Kellen. I'm absolutely out. Um, Mary, how are you still going to defend Dak? Not today. 
He's still your guy, but <laughs> you, you got bigger issues right now. Zach Taylor, uh, kick is away touchback, says, Kellen Moore, everyone in the line except Martin, you to go. It's a popular one. Nighthawks says, every play call has been awful. Same with penalties. Yeah. Kajlik Campbell, fire Mike and Kellen, rebuild the O-line. Yeah. Fine with it. All right, first and ten. Prescott in the shotgun. Drops back to Cooper. Oh, now they throw it to Cooper. Now they throw it to Cooper again. Six-yard gain. Second and four. Drops back. Prescott does. In the dirt towards CeeDee Lamb. I think Dak got hit as he threw. I wasn't sure. First Cooper target since his touchdown. That's a coaching failure. Get him the ball. Remember when the, this O-line was the best in the NFL? They sure as hell haven't played like it. Third and four coming up here. Ooh, Dak getting pressured on almost 50% of his dropbacks. Yikes. That's bad. Third and four. Prescott drops back. Again under pressure. Spins away from it. Rolling left. Looking. Scrambling. Is going to get taken down a yard shy. You got to go for it. You got to go for it. Got to go for it. Fourth and one. Are you punting it? No. And there's, there's nobody open. Maybe Cooper. If he, Cooper came open late, but Dak, Dak can't see him rolling to his left. Oh, my God, you're punting. You're punting on fourth and one. Coward shit. It's a great punt back inside the 10. Fire them all. I don't care. Absolute embarrassment. It's a two-score game? You need two two-point tries. Your odds of getting that are not very good. Like, that is just a, I cannot believe you punted. I cannot believe you punted on fourth and one when you your team needs to get going. A punt there, I just, I, I, I'm going to wait to see what the analytics say here. We'll get that in a minute. But I, I just can't believe you punted. You'd gone for that all year. All year you had gone for that. You didn't there. What are you doing? What are you doing? Jesus. And now we're getting our asses kicked in the super chat battle. Good Lord, I bet Chase the difference in, in, in the super chat income. Y'all gonna put a new dad out a hundred bucks? Yikes. Super chats that have come in. Jordan Thomas says, head with a full rebuild. Jeff Watson, Super Chat $5, says, fire everybody. Hire Brian Flores, head coach from the franchise around. The analytics, by the way, say go for it. Because you got like a 5% chance of winning anyway. JM, people at the Cowboys had a chance. Yes, I did, because I wasn't a coward. And I'm pissed because they played like ass. Been a, a disaster showing. And it starts, for the record, by the way, with the coaching staff. It, 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 I believe it's McCarthy. If you're making pick one guy, it's McCarthy. Like, all of these penalties, as has been the case all year, and, like, I can't blame the refs for this. Like, the calls that are being thrown, or flags that are being thrown, like, they're pretty clearly penalties for the most part. Like, you, you have not moved the ball on offense, and you just have not done anything right. You got away from the stuff that worked well this year. 
What are you doing? Alex says, if we lose, I swear, Codes need to be fired. I agree. Don't pay any of our free agents. No reason. Same team. I want to see at least one playoff well alive. Be nice. Bottoms up. Joe says, Kellen Moore is Lenahan 2.0. Feels like that, huh? Feels like it. First and 10. Jimmy G under center at his own nine. Motion. Watch the toss left. It is blown up by Demarcus Lawrence. Well, at least he's playing okay. Jimmy G's had a lot of time in the pocket on his throws. Jordan Thomas says, Travis Frederick and Doug Free off the street would be better than our starters. Cut Collins. Tyron traded. Beatish replaced. Jake the Snake says, fire Mike McCarthy. He's going to start drinking all the time now. For second and 11 here for the Niners. Handoff to Mitchell up the middle, breaks a tackle, and almost busts it for more. Whatever. First down, Niners. Parsons couldn't get off the block. LVE couldn't. Diggs eventually barely brought him down. First and ten. Mitchell brought down by Tank Lawrence. At least he's making some plays for you. Three minutes to go in the second in the third quarter. Mark says the SF pass rush is so good with two major injuries. It's a really great point for Mark. Like they they, they showed the pressure numbers. That getting pressured on fifty percent of his drop dropbacks, or actually a bit more than that. That's so bad. Hot. That's so bad. Hot take. Lael Collins has been trashed today. Uh, not a hot take on Lael Collins. He has been trashed today. Entire O-line, that's how maybe Zach Martin's been trashed today. Second and nine, I'll read out Hoodie and John G. Supers in a second here. Shotgun set, Jimmy G, tunnel screen, Ayuk, blown up, loss of a lot. Got to get the stop here. John G. says, hire Jim Harbaugh, on new OC. Don't get your hopes up for Harbaugh, folks. Hoodie. Blow up the coaching staff, draft, and sign a better O-line. This is inexcusable on a billion, on billions of levels. Pissed off right now. Welcome to the party. Me and you both. Third and 11. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. You got to get off the field here if you're Dallas. Five of nine, the Niners are on third downs. Jimmy G pumps all day downfield. Oh, he missed Brandon Ayuk. Oh, he beat Diggs, and Jimmy G missed him. Oh, he beat Diggs so bad. Little run in your post, cut it back upfield. Not, not quite a true sluggo, more of a posting go, but oh man, Jimmy G missed it. Punts away, Schnowski, Lamb fair caught at his own 30 and taken down by his own man, Joseph got bullied there. All right, so you are technically alive here. What will happen on this drive? Touchdown, field goal, turnover, or punt? Also, Mercy Grace says this is fitting going out with Nick Elodian. Yeah, feels right. They're kicking our ass in supers, guys. Any $20 super, I'll start doing polls of Jack Daniels. I'll do it. Oh, my God. Almost as embarrassing this product on the field today. Down by 16. A minute 34 to go in the third. Prescott drops back. Under pressure. Ball gets knocked loose. Tyron Smith recovers it. I mean, Dak's got no time.
Yeah, the Boo Bird should be out. So again, we're in second and 20. Prescott, a flag comes out. It's a gain to Lamb. Lamb gets 19. It's on the Cowboys. A 19-yard gain on second and 20, and there's a flag on it. This fucking team, man. Like, Lamb is just lollygagging out there. Get fucking set, dude. So now it's second and 25, because your O-line has been ass today, and you get a penalty every time you do something. Good. Second and 25, Prescott, a rocket to Wilson. It's caught. A gain of 24. Wilson gets up looking for a flag. So third and one. That's a strike by, D by Dak. Third and two. That's third and one. Hand off to Elliott. He gets the first down. Joe Ramirez says, I called in my blood pressure re refill. I don't blame you. Johnny Almendares says, Garoppolo is all the time in the pocket. Dak has very little time under constant pressure. I blame more for calling late developing plays. Also, when you get in a second and forever, you have to. Cowboys will not call a play before the third quarter ends. <sighs> I'm going to change the pin. Make a weigh-in for me. Actually, just this one is fine. Read the Cowboys today. I'm, I'm taking care of it, Jeremy. A, B, C, D, or F? It's an F, by the way, so far. I'm actually going to do it this way. A slash B, D, or F? Because if you're giving them an A, I think you are high. This has been a shit show of a performance by the Dallas Cowboys. Unacceptable. Your quarterback hasn't played great. When he does make the play for you, well, they get it by a penalty. And when he doesn't make a bad play, he's got no time in the pocket. So everything has gone terribly for this Cowboys team. The lack of urgency makes no sense. Like, honestly, to get to, – by the way, just to go back to this, I know it's probably not going to matter. To get a first down when it's second and 25 is actually kind of crazy. That's not very common, which is why this is so frustrating for me. We know what this team can do. This is not a bad football team. It's not a team lacking talent. We know they can make plays. And they just they can't. No team this year has lost more offensive yards as a result of penalties than the Dallas Cowboys. Ready for this? And look, a lot of these are fair, especially today. Ready for this? The Cowboys have lost nearly 1,000 yards of penalties on offense and 413 yards in addition to that. That is unbelievable. And it's not just the reps. Look, we can blame them for the Raiders game. I did. Can blame them for not having the, the Cardinals. But, like, you have laid an egg today, and you have repeatedly shot yourself in the foot. In the end, when it's everything – and it's constant, I tend to blame the coaching staff and McCarthy most of all. By the way, if the team wants to uh, hire Kellen Moore, I'm not, I'm not going to be too upset at this point. Loved him the first six games. Been bad since. Keep airing it out. Your, your offensive line has been a disaster today. 
Today's show is powered by BetUS. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code COWBOYS125 to get yourself 125% deposit bonus. Must put down 100 bucks. Email us, jersey at chatsports.com if you want the jersey deal. We'll put that email in the comments. First and 10 from the 43. All that, you gain like six yards on this drive. Prescott in the shotgun. It's actually like 10 yards. Under pressure, throws caught by Wilson. Dancing gets five. Jerry does look angry, and I'd be pissed too. His team's laid a goose egg. Age of the keyboard warrior. Hola, como estas? Yeah, not great. Oh, a draw to Elliot. Oh, good thing you ran the fucking football again. I'm out on Kellen. I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out on Kellen. I'm out. I'm done. Third and five, asking your quarterback to bail you out again because you ran the football for no yards. Dak drops back and dropped by Amari. Not a perfect throw, through his hands. Fourth and five. They're punting! Fuck Mike McCarthy! I am done! I am done! A fucking punt? It's a fake! And it works! I'm back in on Mike McCarthy! We are on Mike I'm back in, boys! Thank God! Bones effing fossil, baby! I was about to lose it, man! We never doubted for a minute. We never doubted you. Big fake time. Thank God I was going to be so mad. Oh my God. I was going to be so mad. What are they doing? The punt team's still out here. What do we do? What is this? What is this? What is going on right now? <laughs> what is, I, am I drunk or not? The punt team is now coming off the field with 15 on the play clock. What is going on? Six, five, four, three, two. They didn't sub in time. They got the snap off, no flag. There it is. What are we doing? <laughs> what is this? What the fuck, McCarthy? You just had your punt team out there for 30 seconds. It's like they were trying to... It's literally not how that works. I have, This game is just off the rails drunk, and I'm not drunk enough to handle it. First and 15 now from the 41, thanks to the fake punt. Prescott drops back. Pumps, rolls left. Nobody there. Throws it late. Cooper didn't come back to it. When, when, you're, when you're getting beat with a four-man rush, you're just in trouble. Opposing team gets to make substitutions. It's like they were trying to prevent the Niners from doing that, and I just, I, I, just, I don't get it. Second and 15. Drops back, Prescott does. Free rusher, hit as he throws, caught by Malik Turner, makes a man miss and gets back to where he was. Third and 10. I mean, you, you can't punt. You can't. You have to go for it. Dak got rocked. They're hit hard on that throw. Not rocked. He got hit on the throw by Jimmy Ward. Turner danced to get, like, one yard. 
Also, why are Noah Brown and Malik Turner your receivers? I don't know. Makes no sense. Put your good ones out there, your best ones. What are you doing? Third and nine. Your good ones are back out there. Empty set. Pressure coming. Dak pumps. Finds Pollard. Dak had to wait for Pollard to get his head around. Oh, my God. Are you really going for a field goal? Why are you kicking a field goal? <sighs> Swear to God. Kicking a 51-yard field goal. Down by two scores to make it a two-score game with 12.05 to go. Oh, and the clock bled all the way down to seven, by the way, since you're just sitting around dicks in hand. Kick a field goal, you morons. The kicker from 51. Left hash. He got it. So it's a two-score game from a two-score game. 13 points. You still need two scores. Doesn't do anything for you. No freaking reason to kick a damn field goal there. Like, I don't... Coaching ineptitude on display here. Absolute coaching failure. Uh, absolute cowardice. To get that off, I don't want it. Get it off screen. No, we're not. We're not doing field goal. We're not celebrating it, Jeremy. Get it off. Absolutely not. No reason. Get the field goal. What are you doing? Does it make any sense? You still need two touchdowns. You you added nothing to your chances. What are you doing? God, does it make any sense? You probably hurt your chances of winning. It's dumb, it's so dumb. Yes, I am worried. Good, good, good way in, Jeremy. I'm very worried. I'm not worried anymore. I'm angry. I'm angry. You run a... Short pass on third and nine because they brought the house and there's nobody open quickly because you apparently can no longer beat the blitz unless Dak adjusts you pre-snap. Like, it's a great point. Like, oh. Uh. What's the new poll? I can't wait to see it. Are you angry? If you write no, you're a Niners fan. All right, super chats here. Quinn for head coach. Think McCarthy is gone if we lose. I'm going to be calling to fire McCarthy after this game. I'm, like, I'm out. I'm out. Penalties, stupid coaching decisions, I'm out. I'm so out. Maybe I'll give a sleepless night over it, but like, ugh. Not too crazy about more. I get it, Ignacio. Jordan says, guarantee that JJ won't fire Mike. I wouldn't be so sure. Uh, Mailman Mike, why do we run so many screens? I don't know. They never freaking work. Uh, Clayton, Kellen Moore's like, throw last one on the screen. Yeah, big time shorts. Um, T. Thompson, you can blame Kellen. There are guys open downfield. McCarthy and these penalties are an issue. I'm telling you if, you, if we lose Kellen, it will be an issue. <sighs> I don't think there are that many guys open downfield. And when there are, there isn't time to get rid of the football. But I agree, McCarthy and penalties, I'd probably rank them above Kellen at this point. Not that I'm happy with the way Callen's played. Sam says, this is towards your hospital. That vein looks like it's about to explode. Short kick, return by the Niners. 20, 25, brought down there. Don't do that shit, Jeremy. I looked away before uh, the play was finished. Tyrone's giggling with his super chat. Thanks, bud. Yeah, 
Snoopy rocks. My fear is Jerry fires McCarthy and makes Moore the head coach. I, I can't. I can't do it. Told me this, you know, after week six, I've been on board. I can't do it now. Jimmy G, play action over the middle. Wide open, George Kittle. It's a gain of 20. SCUJ cases, yes, I'm worried. For the 15, I'm just going to do a pull, Jack. I do need it. I'm not drunk enough for this shit. Vander Ash didn't drop at all. They picked on him. First and ten. Jimmy G under center. Toss up the middle. Gregory just leaping around for no reason. Diggs doesn't feel like making a tackle. What's the flag? Hey, it's a holding call. That'll make the numbers look better. Not the ref's fault. Can't blame him. Well, Niners will bleed clock here. It was holding, by the way. But, like, also isn't normally called, so thanks, refs. Yeah, it's first and 15 now. Clock continues to run, by the way. 10.50 to go in the ball game. Shout out Jordan Thomas, Hunter. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do McCarthy replacements, guys. Don't worry. We, we will get to I don't want Mike Zimmer, though. No, that's a bad head coach replacement. Handoff, Mitchell. Should be Debo. Gets about three there. Man, he churns his legs like he's an actual back. Ellis, I'm so mad right now, but laughing at how stupid we are. Yeah. Like, here's the, the worst part. Is Mike McCarthy all year have been super aggressive. And then in a game that matters, oh, no, I want to be scared. Like, what are you doing? Gofflin Barrett, I'm tired of defending this team. Paper champs. I feel you. I need another beer, by the way. I'm out. Thanks, Harrison. Second and 11. Motion, Jawan Jennings. Lewis late getting out there. He's lollygagging. Garoppolo avoids the sack. Hill being held, thrown, picked off. Oh, my goodness. Anthony Brown, there's a flag to the 30 and takes it over there. What's the flag for? If there's going to be on defense, I'm going to lose my shit. I think it's holding. Holding on the offense. All right. So a big play, Anthony Brown. We're back in it. Kind of, sort of, but actually not really. In Mike McCarthy, we trust. I'm going to punch you in the face. Bad. That Honestly, that is all Jimmy G. He was open. The intended target was open, and they missed him. Oh, shit. That is overflowing. Thanks for handing me a beer. I was going to burst. Can I get a napkin? First and ten. Thanks, Chugs. From the 30, or 28, Prescott. Shot to Cooper. First down. Type in first. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Get my hands a little bit there. Yeah, he's just mad. I understand. Gofflin, or uh, beat you up, says fire everybody. Pay cuts across the board. Nick Marin Burnett says, we are not going to win until Jerry Jones is gone. He is the problem. Prescott inside the BetUS red zone. Looking, resets, caught a dangerous throw, but it ends up being a strike to Lamb first down. Dangerous throw, but it ends up being a hell of a one. First and goal from the seven. Prescott dropping back with time. End zone shot. 
Overthrows Cooper. It wasn't really open anyway. 8.36 to go. I, I think he wants to sit in the pocket. Oh, there's an injured. Oh, no. It's Fred Warner down now. Holding his knee. Oh, no. Warner grabbing that right knee. I think it's the right knee. Tell me if you've heard this before. Kyle Shanahan, huge lead. No way his team is going to lose. I think he's Dan Quinn. I mean, who was who the offensive coordinator it that was, year? It was Shanahan. We're not going to mention it. We're not going to mention it. I, I, just, I just sent out. Do you, do you remember uh, Endgame where Ronan, a.k.a. Hawkeye, is sitting there looking at Black Widow and says, don't? She goes, don't. Don't what? And he says, don't give me hope. That's me right now to you, to, to, to Dallas. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't give me hope. Don't, don't do it. Score or don't. The win probability, for those of you wondering, this factors in the teams, how they played over all this year, time, situation, score, it's 87.5%. So I am saying there's a chance. It dropped pretty heavily after the interception. 23-10 is the score in this one. If you haven't already, folks, hit that big red button and subscribe for free Cowboys videos. If they win, we'll celebrate and preview Cowboys Bucks. If they lose, which is objectively speaking the more likely outcome right now, <laughs> I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> I'm going to fire everybody. Nighthawk uh, says, thoughts on Tomlin as a replacement for McCarthy? If I can get him. Sure, I don't find that all that likely, but I'd like to do it. We are almost to 122K subscribers. If you haven't already, please sub. I think I, I'm just going to go right to the bottle. I don't care at this point. Bottle for, I'll, I'll combine Gothlin and beat you up. And uh, Nick Marine Burnett, who says, if we're not going until Jerry's gone, he's the problem. He's been your common thread for years, so... It's tasting better now, by the way. Maybe that's the pain it's counteracting. Who knows? So as we sit right now, it is second and goal for the Cowboys. Down by 13 points. SCUJK, how about Anthony Brown? Look, I'll be honest, that was a bad throw. I, I can't give Anthony Brown that much credit, but... Second and goal for Dallas. Eight minutes, 40 seconds. Eight minutes, 36 seconds to go in the ball game. From the seven. Prescott, a draw to Elliott. Why are you running the draw? Why? You gained three. Goody. Why did you run the draw? Why? It doesn't work. The run game doesn't work. Stop running it. Third and goal from the five. Two plays, or it's ball game. Prescott drops back. There's nobody over the middle. He's going to tuck. He's going to run. He's going to score. Touchdown, Prescott. Cowboys are still alive. 23-16. Dak did the run play. A five-yard touchdown run. By Prescott. I'm going to punch you in the face if you say flag one more time, Jeremy. Martin got beat, but Dak was able to roll left and there was nobody there. Twenty-three sixteen. The kicker delivers. 23-17. I get so nervous every time he's out there. So nervous. So with eight minutes to go, it is a six-point ball game. Somehow, some way, they are alive still. Anthony Brown stepping up on a bad Jimmy G throw. Now the defense has to get a stop, and you will ask your offense 
to pull off the miracle. I know it's been a bad game, guys, but let's catch him in the Super Chat battle. Let's do it. What can I do for a $100 Super Chat? I'm going to go shirtless. Slap each other at the same time for a $100 Super Chat. While we do shots, yeah, we'll do shots too. The King of Random, thank you. Jo Trucker John, Billy, I'm going to cry on my head if we, if we actually win. I can't get to it. I, I can't get to it there, but I hope so. Andrew Edwards, Tom, the run game doesn't work. Dak, hold my beer. That's not the run game, though. That's the scramble game. High, high kick fielded at the five. Niners only get to the 17. The special teams, which Cowboys had the advantage of, stepping up there. All right, Cardiac Cowboys. Ember kills. <clears throat> $2 super chat. My voice is going to be gone tomorrow. I'm not going to be able to, to come in. Needs your defense to step up. What will happen? Touchdown, field goal, turnover, or punt? Jimmy G in the shotgun. Play action. Under pressure, avoids the sack, and then gets brought down. It's a gain of one. Almost. Almost. Super chat from Lorenzo Beanie. Why is Kellen Moore so in love with running, bro? Thinks it's still college? I'm not sure. I just put the Dak touchdown on my Twitter. Let's go. Second and nine. Second and nine. The crowd is loud. Dawson says we pull off a win. Is McCarthy safe? Uh, we'll, we'll see how the next game goes. Second and nine. Seven minutes, 20 seconds to go in the ball game. Three, two, the snap comes, handoff, Mitchell breaks a tackle, LVE brings him down, he's fired up. Third down. Big tackle by LVE right there. Third down, Third get those down. stops Type in. Third stop, let's go. Get those stops in, let's go. Third and four. LVE checks out with the substitution. Six minutes, 45 seconds to go in the ball game. Third and four. Empty set. They're going to throw it. Cowboys showing pressure and off man. A lot of off man. Jimmy G, a complete set. I, what are you doing? What is that defense? What was that? You played off coverage and dropped an edge. I just, what are you doing? Why? What is that play call? You got him in third down. Why? Why? That's such a bad decision. They're obviously running at the, at the sticks. Why did, oh my God. First and 10 from the 29. Garoppolo, handoff Mitchell. He gets and breaks free. There's a flag. Wait a minute. Is this going to be offsides again? Niners pointing towards Dallas. Holding on the defense. Are you serious? That never gets called. Never gets called. Which it was. It was holding. It was. That is a free first down. So the Niners, first and 10, five and a half to play. Can the defense just get the Cowboys the ball back? Single back set, trips left in a bunch formation, motion. Handoff up the middle to Mitchell, gets two, maybe three. Ten Tail says, everyone must convert themselves into a Packers fan. It's the right thing to do. Still not over that third down play. Second and seven. Your 
Your run D's actually been passable today outside of Debo Samuel carries. I put him in the backfield if I were Shanahan. Give it to Debo. Dan Quinn looking like this right now. It's Mitchell, the lone back. Tight end in motion right to left. Snap comes with two on the play clock. Boot right. Jimmy G to Kittle in the dirt. Diggs brings him down. Fumble. Cowboys. They got the football. Cowboys football. I don't know if he caught it. I thought he was. I thought it was an incomplete pass. As it stands, Cowboys football. Was it a catch? I don't think it was. Grappolo threw it in the dirt. Not a catch. Not a catch. Not a catch. Third down. Type in stop. Good job. That was not a catch. I thought he threw it low. Incomplete. Yeah, now New York wants to buzz down, but now nah, it was a pretty quick call there. Third and seven. You've got to get off the field here. You've got to. Time stop! There you go, Chug. Spam stop. Parsons, Diggs, Tank. Somebody got to step up here on third and seven. Keep the stops flowing. Cowboys showing a four-man rush with three to the left. Now they rotate. It's a five-man front. False start. False start, Niners. Back them up. There we go. Beep, there we go. Beep, beep, beep. False start, third and 12. Defense. Four minutes, 36 seconds left. Defense. Who jumped? Was that Lakin Tomlinson? Defense. Oh, he moved. He did a little. Defense. A little bit. Third and 12. Defense. You've got to get off the field here. Defense. You have to, or I'm just going to lie down for a little bit. Third and 12. Again, a five-man front. Parsons, Armstrong standing up. Cowboys in off. Garoppolo drops back over the middle. Broken up and almost picked. Oh, Malik Hooker. And a flag. No. Don't do it. Don't be DPI. Hands of the face on the defense. <sighs> on Gallimore. On a DT? On a DT. I mean, it is. It, it, it's the right call. That's the right call. It's the right call. What are you doing? Neville Gallimore, hands to the face. It's, it's the right call. Three first downs on this drive, two by penalty. So first and 10, clock continues to run. <sighs> Garoppolo, handoff to Mitchell, nothing there, no gain. Two penalties by first downs. You had him. Diggs broke it up. Hooker almost picked it. But Gallimore, it's the right call. Hands to the face and a very obvious one. Can't blame the refs on that. That is, that is the right call. Third and 12 and you get that. This is a crying fan. What are we doing? I'm not even crying. Are you serious? Come on. I love the passion, but come on. Second and 10 from the 42 and a quarter. Split slot, shotgun set. Hand off to Debo, trying to get space. Parsons brings him down out of bounds. Clock stops. Please get off the field. Type and stop. Third down, third and five. Cowboys fans, it's third down. Out everybody's ear sets not so loud next time, Jeremy. Type in stop. Third and five. Kittle's out there. Jimmy G is six of nine on third downs with five first down pickups. Single deep safety. Looks like man. 
Garoppolo drops back over the middle. Caught Debo. Didn't get it. LVE. What a play. He didn't get it. He's a yard shy. I would go for it if I were the Niners. What will they do? Leighton Vanderesh steps up a yard shy of the first down marker. I've never said a bad thing in my life about LVE. They're going to go. I would go for it, too. I would so go for it. They're going to they're gonna get it. you got to get the stop here. Cowboys fans, it's fourth and fourth one. Down. Jimmy G in the pistol. Three, two, one. Delay of game. Delay of game. Delay of fucking game. Oh, my God. It's at zero. Throw the goddamn flag. Out there forever. Thank you. I mean, they let Kittle go in motion the entire time. Let's go. Uh, no, I need more alcohol. Uh, I'm actually, I'm actually okay. I'm good. Let me sip some water. Bring in the food. Fourth and six. Another flag on the Niners. Back him up. Beep, beep, beep. False start. Back him up. 2.51 to go. What are, they, are they doing the clock ticking thing? They shouldn't. They did not. Two minutes, 51 seconds. Wisniewski's punt is away. Lamb on the return. He will bring it out. 15. Trips and taken down there. All right. All right. Just 85 yards. 85 yards in two minutes, 42 seconds. Change the pin. Are the Cowboys going to win? This is a 10. Who you got? C or four? So Cowboys football, 84 yards in two minutes and 42 seconds. Prescott in the shotgun. He drops back to pass. Dak, hit tipped at the line, incomplete. So second and 10 coming up here. Matthew says this drive is where Dak gets paid the bucks for. He's got to do it. He's got to do it. Now, you need the supporting cast, blah, blah, blah. He's got to do it. He's got to do it. Second and 10. Motion for Cooper. Four-man front for the Niners. They bring four. Prescott has to avoid the pressure. Rolling, looking. Downfield. Caught. Schultz. 40. 45. 50. Out of bounds at the 46. Big fucking play right there, baby. Tell him type LFG. Dak to Schultz. Huge gain. Prescott buying time. Drops it over the diving defender. What a throw. No Bosa. No Warner. First and 10. 46. Two minutes. 29 seconds and a half. Prescott barking out signal in the game. Not the half, duh, Tom. Prescott drops back. Four-man pressure. Rolling, looking, resetting, scrambling, and we'll get back to near the original line of scrimmage. Not much open. Clock is ticking. You're, of course, in four-down territory. I, I try to get a play here if you like what you have when you line up pre-snap. Otherwise, you just let it go to the two-minute warning. Second and 11. Three, two, the snap comes. Prescott looking, checks down. Lamb drops the pass. CD. 
You got to catch it. So instead of third and five, it's now third and ten. Just a brutal drop. Brutal, brutal drop. So two-minute warning. Type in C if you think the Cowboys are going to win this football game. And if you haven't already, hit that big red button and subscribe for free Cowboys videos all season and off season long. If you subscribe, there is some data, some data out there that says the Cowboys are going to win. That's how it works. Subscribe, youtube.com slash Cowboys TV. Alex says, should they milk the clock? you got to score. I, I don't really care about milking the clock. You're now in, instead of being third and five, third and six, now you're in third and 11 because your receiver, your star, second-year receiver at Oklahoma, CeeDee Lamb, drops a ball right in his hands. He's got to catch it. We are 80 away from 122K if we get it. The jack's coming out. Help us get it before the drive so I'm able to actually do it. And I'll drink for Alex's super chat. Nick Marine Burnett says Cooper will make the game-winning TD. We're on sub-only chat, so subscribe. What are we at? We... 17 away sub for free Cowboys videos. Oh, my God, my voice is gone. Hold on. <clears throat> that sounded disgusting, but my voice is starting to crack. Let's go sub for going. dubs, baby. <laughs> sub for dubs. We're two away. Two away, guys. Sub and type C if you got the Cowboys winning. Are we there we yet? We hit it. We hit it. Bottoms up. Let's go, Cowboys. All right, Cowboys, third and 11. Two-minute warning. In Niners territory at the 47-yard line, they do have all three timeouts left. Third and 11, Cowboys fans at the game are praying, and I don't blame them. It's a long 11. Trips left, Schultz kind of is an offset in-line tight, I hope that makes sense. Niners showing pressure. Six-man front plus an edge rusher. Who do they bring? I'd bring the house if I were the Niners. They don't. They only rush four. Prescott stepping up under pressure. Throws it late to Elliott off his fingertips. I think Dak was past the line anyway. It's another hold. Another hold on the play. Do you take it or decline it? They're going to decline it. Fourth and 11. It's tough. You got to make it. You got to make it. Honestly, maybe for the best they missed, they missed the throw. Of course I'm worried, Jeremy. Shut up. Fourth and 11, the Cowboys have all three timeouts. you got to get the first in here. Niners again showing pressure. Will they bring it? They did not last time. Prescott in the shotgun. San Francisco almost jumped off sides. They bring the house. Dak, free rusher, throws it downfield to Wilson. Who missed it? Wilson. Dak threw a great one. And Wilson didn't bring it in. No. Oh. Wilson has to make that. He can't fall over. Oh. Dak under pressure throws it up to Wilson who falls over and can't make the play. The free rusher, Dak avoided it. First down run, it's a gain of one timeout, Dallas.
Maybe you shouldn't have kicked that field goal. Just a thought. Second and nine. You, I know Wilson fell over. He's got to make that play. Dak off balance gave his receiver a real shot. Second and nine. Keep the stops flowing. Got to go three and out, force him to punt, and then hope for a real miracle. God, he had him. He just didn't. He fell over. He fell over. It was a good throw. Jimmy G in motion, or Mitchell in motion. Hand off to Debo. Debo gets to the edge. Parsons can't bring him down. Curse does. No gain. Timeout Cowboys, 131 to go. Oh my God, it's a holding call. Are you serious? It's on Gregory. Are you kidding me? I know I'm not on screen. I'm in shambles. I'm just going to sit down for a minute. What a fucking garbage ass call. Well, he did hold him. You really call that? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm dead inside. I cannot believe you throw the flag there. I cannot believe it. 14 penalties. I cannot believe that's how this game is going to end. Cannot be Oh yeah, the full start to balance it out. I cannot believe they threw the flag. I cannot believe they threw that flag. It's away from the from the from the the the, the play. And you end the game like that. Unbelievable. First and 15, a minute 30 to go in the ball game. Hand off up the middle, Mitchell gets two yards. Fourteen penalties for the Cowboys. That is why you lost today. That's why. You're not going to win games when it's 14 penalties against eight. Fourteen, and all of them absolutely brutal. Williams says, still in line with a horrible drive. Actually got a couple nice plays, but yeah, bad drive. You almost, bailed, you almost pulled it out still. Hugh Bramlett, five dollars. Just stick with sub. You're fine. It's for William and Brian and Matthew and Hugh. Just the five dollars super. Second and thirteen from midfield. Cowboys down to one timeout. Got to get a turnover here. Jimmy G to Mitchell breaks a tackle. Dallas trying to rip it out. They can't. A gain of one, third and forever with a minute 21 left. How can you make that penalty? Gregory, what are you doing? Why are you tackling the lineman? He would have gotten the ball back. I mean, it would have been a miracle anyway, but... I have no confidence in any QB ever going what's going to be about 80 yards at minimum in, call it 40 seconds, no timeouts. Which is not. <laughs> Did he? Oh, okay. Yes. If, if the defensive back just like has his controller get unplugged, then yes. Third and 10. I had to run this ball. Oh, whistle blows. Niners call timeout. I mean, Dallas has none, so it's got to be San Francisco timeout. It is timeout San Francisco. 
If you haven't already, subscribe. We'll be calling for some firings t today. I, look, I, I will not blame the refs on this one. I, I, I will not do it. I still cannot believe they threw that penalty there. I was it was a flag. Normally that's eaten in that scenario. I it's a lot of blame to go around. I'm honestly, I'm not blaming the refs on this one. I'm not doing it. Too many stupid ass penalties today. Tons of pressure allowed by your allegedly great offensive line. Third and ten. A minute 21 to go. Niners have the ball in Cowboys territory at the 47 and a half. Jimmy G. Reverse to Debo. Oh, he's got space. Right side. Debo. Got it. Make a fucking tackle. Make a fucking tackle. Didn't even give him a chance. Ooh, it's close, but I think he got it. You had him three yards shy. Diggs, Curse, and Gregory couldn't bring him down. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. That's ball game, folks. It's a first down Niners. It'll go to review, but I think he got it. It's a pretty good spot, frankly. <sighs> Brutal. You can build a scoreboard and we'll take a break and get our post game show ready. What a disaster. Cowboys lay an egg at home. They're going to go to review. I think he got it. I mean, you got to get off the field there. The number of times this defense couldn't get off the field on third down. Unreal. Unreal. Look, Gene Steratore is saying he didn't get the first down. I thought he did. I, I don't I don't think he overturn it. I, I I thought it was a first down. He got a minute to go in the ball game. Who you on fire? Let me know in the comments. Like you let Debo Samuel drag you for three yards. You can't do it. That's not even digs, it's on curse too for getting off the field. I that angle. Maybe he's a yard shy. I'd go for it, by the way, if I were the Niners. Like you're you're gonna get a yard. Ah, I it's close. They're still reviewing here. Yeah, I mean, Connor's gone. I am bringing him back. I'm down with McCarthy going, too. Still reviewing the play here. If it's a first down, it's game over. Still reviewing.
Here's the play. Here's the review. They're going to respot and remeasure, so we got drama. Oh, it's right on the nose. Bring out the note card. It's going to be short, I think. We're short by this much. We got this much. Short by a Marshall Green, folks, this much. I mean, you go for it. I, 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 I run the quarterback sneak. Fourth and inches. Spam the stops. I mean, you go, you go all out. See if the Cowboys have a miracle. I mean, you just quarterback sneak it. You can't stop them. There's a minute to go in the ball game. I believe the clock will run here. Uh, you just go big, big guys here. They will be able to run it down. Honestly, I would run it down 29 seconds. It's a minute 14. That should be reset to play the game clock. Should be minute 14 or minute 04. Okay, we're all over the map on the time left in the game. Play clock at 25, game clock at 104. They need literally this much. This much. They need a Jeremy Chuggs. I would let the clock put all the way down, call timeout, and then run your quarterback sneak. Should be pretty easy to get, frankly. Timeout, 38 seconds. That was close to a delay of game. That was pretty damn close. I mean, they told the ref one second, so I'm fine with it, but. Fourth and inches. Real talk, I'd put Trey Lance in. i just quarterback sneak it with Lance. They're not going to, and I get it, because you don't want to have a bad snap, but. See what the Cowboys do. Red Eyes Dragon says whatever. Cheers. If you get the stop, you have a slim chance. You're at about midfield. This is taking forever, by the way. Like the clock should just be running. Play clock is going. 40 seconds. Fourth and this much. Get the safeties down the line. Why do you have a guy back deep? They motion the right, the left tackle, sneaks it, he gets it. First down, game over. False start! False start! They got a chance! It's a false start! False start! Give me the false start! It's a false start! The Cowboys got a miracle! Just need a literal miracle. Just need a literal miracle, folks. Oh, they're going to go for it. Where'd my pen cap go? Punt team on. Yeah, I have no idea where that pen cap went. We'll find it later. I think you have to go for the block and then just like... Punt team on. Bringing the pressure, not blocked. 
It's away. It bounces into the end zone. 20, 20 yard line. Thirty-two seconds. I got pen all over me, by the way. I don't know what the hell I did. Eighty yards. You need a miracle. That that's what this is here. You need you need a miracle. Receivers and tight ends out there. Empty set for Dallas. 32 seconds. You need 80 yards. A miracle. Prescott. Caught. Lateral to Lamb. 35 40. Gets out of bounds at the 40. Oh, as Lamb is now limping. Lamb is hurt. Oh, he's back! He's back! Hey, Brett, I heard that. You're dead to me. You don't want to know what Brett said, but I heard it. First and 10 from the 40. 60 more yards, 24 seconds. It's a miracle. Three. Two, Pollard in motion. It's a lateral to Pollard with blockers. Gets 10 at the 50-yard line. 50 yards, 18 seconds. From midfield, Niners just playing all of the off coverage. 50 yards, 18 seconds. High snap, Prescott brings it in. Out route, Schultz gets 10, 14 seconds, 40 and a half yards. I'm going to have a goddamn heart attack. Sub if you haven't already. Second and one. Sub if you haven't. Lake getting off the field. You got to snap it free. Oh, they called a timeout. Oh, they had the free play. Oh. I need beer. No, 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 I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I meant I needed to have some beer. I'm good. Where'd my cap go? I'm being cold. What are you? Warm or cold? I'm cold beer. What are you talking about? I ain't shotgun on a beer. Second and one. Fourteen seconds. They're at the forty and a half yard line. Empty set for Dallas. Niners again. Rushing three. Playing off coverage. You got to pick up the three. Dak, a quarterback draw. Slides down. Got to clock it. Seven, six, five, four. The ref running over. Two, one. They didn't get it off. Are you fucking kidding me? The ref got in the way. The fucking ref got in the way. He blocked them from snapping it. The fucking ref got in the way. There should be one play. Make it right. The ref got in the way. Are you kidding me? Ball game. The ref got in the way. The ref literally tackled the fucking center and made them respot it. Come on! Fuck that ref! I want his name and address. Maybe not the address, it's a little bit extreme. He got in the way. Are you kidding me? I don't love the quarterback draw, by the way. 
The ref ran over the center and stopped them. Get the scoreboard built. Are you kidding me? The ref, the center is set, and he runs over your quarterback in center and then moves the ball back. God damn it. Are you kidding me? Why is the deep ref making the play? He ran over your quarterback in center and cost you the spike. Gotta be kidding me. Ken never would have thought it would have ended that way. Are you serious? Hate the play call, by the way. Don't run the quarterback draw. Slide earlier. Are you serious? Gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna need at least 10 minutes to reset. Cowboys lose to the Niners 23 17. Dallas nearly pulled it out. They didn't deserve to win, if we're being honest. <sighs> Final in this one 23 17. We'll be back post game in a little bit.
there, bud. Cool. Cowboys post-game reaction presented by Manscaped. You can get 20% and free shipping, 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com when you use promo code COWBOYS. We appreciate Manscaped sponsoring today's... It's going to be some meltdown. Uh, that one hurts. It sucks. I don't feel good. Dallas should have won this game. They were the better football team, but they sure as hell did not play like it in this one. They lose to the 49ers 23 to 17. And make no mistake, there is plenty of blame to go around in this game. And we're going to do that today and tomorrow and maybe Tuesday as well. The Cowboys put up 17 points in this one. Unacceptable offensive showing. 230 net passing yards. That includes 40 yards lost in sacks. The offensive line was so bad in this one. 77 yards on the ground. They averaged 3.7 yards per carry. That includes your quarterback averaging almost 7 on the ground. They were not good on third and fourth downs in large part. They were in third and forever. The defense, ah, they didn't play great either. 23 points allowed. The run D allowed 4.4 yards per carry. Debo Samuel was the run who really hurt them. Elijah Mitchell, 27 carries, 96 yards. It's not that bad. But you got worked overall in this game. You had a tough time getting off the field in critical third and fourth downs throughout the game. That does not include, by the way, 6 of 13. And offsides that gave the Niners another one. The penalties that gave them third and fourth down conversions. I, I don't have many words. Um, I'm pretty damn pissed. Uh, this was a, a disaster showing. And not only that, same old Cowboys. They've done this shit for years. 25, 27 years. They've done this. Not been good enough. I only know pain right now. I'm not happy. I'm, I'm mad. I'm, at this point, I think, what, what are the five stages of depression again? Whatever the, the past, the mad part, I, I'm, I'm there. I'm at the acceptance. I don't remember what the order is. I'm sad. I, I, just, I, I feel nothing but pain and heartbreak right now. And there's, look, we'll, there's a lot of blame to go around. I want to say this off the top. The refs are not why the Cowboys lost this football game. They are not why. This play did screw you. This was bad. This, the ref running over the center and quarterback, like, come on. To be fair, why are you running a quarterback draw? So that the pass is easier to throw? I, I, I guess that's why. Ref messed up. We all know that. The ref got in the way and hurt the Cowboys, depriving them of a miracle chance at winning the football game. But you still needed a miracle. You got outplayed. That's why you lost this game. It's not because the refs screwed you. Were they great? Not really. But you made a lot of mistakes. The penalties you made, there weren't that many. You're just like, that's not a penalty calls. They've had those in the past. You played undisciplined football. And it killed you. That's the number one reason among many why you lost this game. You lose a game you should have won because you played like crap. You got to make changes. So we will spend plenty of time on this in future videos. But who do you want fired or cut? Coach and players. Who do you want to dump? This is the pinned comment on today's video. So if the ad break comes on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. The Cowboys... Full stop, did not deserve to win. I told you guys on Thursday, I expected this team to win. And if they did not, I was going to be pissed. I'm trying to stay calm because I kind of lost my temper earlier during the game. But I'm fucking pissed. 14 penalties? Are you shitting me? Stop making stupid decisions. Like, when you have this many penalties throughout the year, by the way... I am inclined to believe, as my voice continues to go, that's a coaching issue. So first and foremost, I'm looking at you, Mike McCarthy, because your team made stupid decisions. They made mistakes on the field. You had the better football team. You got outplayed and outcoached. You failed. 
This is a failure of the coaching staff, first and many, many others still to come. So what do you think? Should Mike McCarthy stay as the head coach next year? There are the rumors out there of, hey, well, they could go ahead and fire Mike McCarthy and replace him with Kellen Moore, which we'll get to because I don't know about that one. Should he stay? Why for yes and for no? What do you want to do with Mike McCarthy? If you want to make some good cuts that aren't going to hurt you too bad or at all, use Manscaped. 20% off and free shipping on all of their incredible men's grooming products at manscaped.com, promo code COWBOYS. We'll put that link in the comments and in the description of today's video. You get the performance package, the best men's grooming products out there, the Lawnmower 4.0, that takes care of your stuff downstairs, the Weed Whacker takes care of this, because you don't, and this, because you don't want a bunch of, bunch of ear hair and nose hair. The Ball Toner, Ball Conditioner, it's all available at manscaped.com, promo code COWBOYS. Let's talk quarterback now. Um, not good. Not, certainly not great. Um, he didn't play well. 23 of 42, 254 yards, one touchdown, a pretty brutal interception. Dak was not elite today. Anyone who tells you he played great, <laughs> you're crazy. He didn't play good. He played more like back half of season Dak Prescott than early season Dak Prescott. Not just him, though. Now, he's the quarterback. He's going to get blamed. I get that. It's fair. I don't think there are many quarterbacks who would have played well with the supporting cast today. I don't know if Dak is even in your top five of reasons why you lost this game. Head coaching, penalties, uh, no particular, of course, head coaching, penalties, uh, it drops. You had four drops today. What are you doing out there? Uh, you, your play calling, I thought, was pretty garbage once again. Your tackling was terrible on defense. Your insistence upon using an injured Zeke, we'll get to him later on, doesn't make sense to me. There's a lot of blame to go around. So who deserves the most blame for this Cowboys loss against the Niners? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. There's a lot. Frankly, you can list on one hand the players who don't deserve blame. Micah, maybe Dalton Schultz. LVE, who we'll get to later on, maybe Tank Lawrence, bit of a stretch. I think he didn't do enough in the passing game. There's a lot, a lot of blame to go around. And I want to mention this too, the offensive line, cheeks. Dak Prescott was consistently under pressure. Your right guard even got beat. That touchdown run that Dak had was sprung because your right guard, your all-pro right guard got beat. What? Doesn't happen. Connor Williams, one of the worst games he's played in a while. That's a problem. They didn't even have Nick Bosa down the stretch, and they were still getting pressure. Lyle Collins, bad. Tyron Smith, not nearly up to expectations. Tyler Biotish, bad. The O line, terrible in this game. And by the way, I think I'm out on Kellen Moore. Um, I loved him after the first six games, and then. It didn't do well. Um, you you ran the ball, tried to run the ball up the middle when there is months worth of games telling you this is not it, and you kept doing it. Why why did you run the quarterback draw there? Like I I, I can already see the responses. Well, you got to have Dak Prescott all the way to play. No, that the quarterback's not going to do that. Like you've got to call better plays. If if you are asking. Any quarterback to bail you out, this was the, the Tony Romo, Jason Garrett issue for years. If you're Howard Linehan too, if you're asking your quarterback to audible you out of a terrible play call, that's the quarterback's fault. That's your play caller's fault. Now, coaching changes are going to come. I think Dan Quinn's gone. Not sure when him as your head coach, but we'll break that down on a future video. So sub today for free Cowboys videos all off season long. YouTube.com slash Cowboys TV. If you have not already, folks, hit that big red button and subscribe today. Let's talk about CeeDee Lamb. Uh, he gets blamed too. He did have a one catch 
for 21 yards. There was the lateral play involved there as well. There was the screen that went as a run for five yards. So in total, six targets or touches, two actual touches, and 26 yards. What are we doing out there, guys? Come on. Be better. Now, we can win quarterback, too. Or as part of that, that's fair. But when Cedric Wilson is tied for your leading target guy, I think we fucked up as a coaching staff. By the way, let's get Tony Pollard more involved. On six touches, Tony Pollard went for, doing math, 26 yards. On double that, over double that, Zeke Elliott had 15, or 16 targets slash catches slash touches, 31 total yards. It's like two yards per target and touch. By the way, came out today that Zeke Elliott played on a partially torn PCL. The fuck? Why is he in the game then? If he's not healthy, we all knew this for months, that Elliott was not 100% that he could not do the things on the ground through the air that you need him to do. He has looked slow for months. Why in God's name are we making him our leading toucher? That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. It's stupid. It's asinine, and it is a failure of your coaching staff. If Jerry or Steven's involved saying, oh, I got to feed Zeke, get him out of here. Resign. Give me the ownership. I'll do a better job. I don't care anymore. If it's the coaching staff, get him out of there. Zeke was not right. We all knew that all year long. And you continued to force feed him. One catch, 12 carries, 31 yards. What are we doing? That, that's a failure. That's a failure of your coaching staff. You knew that. And you're like, oh, you got to force feed Zeke. What are you doing? Do you win the game if you give the ball to Pollard more? Uh, maybe. Do you win the game if you stop running the inside runs that haven't worked all year? Maybe. There's a lot of stuff. And in the end, it's the head coach. It's probably the owner. But I can't fire the owner. One positive comment here because I don't want to be 100% negative, although I certainly feel like that. I thought LVE played really well in that game. He led the team with 13 tackles. A lot of them assisted, but still, I thought he played pretty well watching live. I don't know if I'm going to go back and watch the, 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 the condensed cut or the All-22. I don't know if I can do that to myself, um, but I thought LVE played well in that game. So what's your one-word reaction? I got some more thoughts here coming up. To the loss, anger, pain. Sadness, classic. This is kind of classic Cowboys. Let me know in the comments. Here's my change. If you roll it back next year with the same offensive staff, same head coach, the same got to feed Zeke, same offensive line or a worse offensive line, you're cooked. We all know the NFC East curse of being unable to win the division in back-to-back -back years. Your entire team, outside of like maybe five guys, terrible, or at least not good today. The team lost you this game. Coaching staff, quarterback, running back, offensive line. Amari Cooper played well, had two drops as well, on top of that. It was a bad game, and this was a game you could not have a bad game. So coaching staff, that's where I start, because that's what I can easily affect change on. OC, head coach, figure out Dan Quinn. I don't know what you can do with him. I don't know if one of him is my head coach. Was it going to Atlanta? Who's going to be your OC? I, I think it starts with the head man. McCarthy again. Team was undisciplined. Why did you kick the field goal? Seriously, why? Why did you kick that field goal? You could have been playing for the win. Could have given you a better chance. You were, McCarthy all year had been super aggressive and then got scared shitless cowardly Late in the game, late in the game that matters. I'm I'm not gonna be over, over this one for a while. I'm really not. I got more videos to film here, and I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do them. I'm in shambles over this game because this was a game the Cowboys should have won, and they laid a big fat egg, and it cannot continue. You might be worse if you make changes, but you gotta make something changed.
on this team next year. All right, a lot of super chats here I want to get to real quick. Just I'll go rapid fire and then just choke some jack to celebrate here. All right, let's start with oh boy, we missed a lot here. Uh do 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 All right. Ten Tails says Packers accepting uh fans from Cowboys. Thanks, I hate it. Alex Miner, Dak clocked it. He didn't. Don't run the draw play. Clown Prince, the ref has to touch the ball. You're right. The ref has to. Don't run over the center. Give the team a chance to clock it, would be my thought. Burner account, same old Cowboys. Feels that way. Scott Yeager, LVE, 13 total tackles this game. What do you do with him next year? Bring him back cheap. Don't, don't love him in coverage, but I thought he played, honestly, pretty good down the stretch last year. John G., quarterback draw was a really bad play call by Kellen Moore, and the refs screwed us all game. Uh, fair. But honestly, I don't think it was the refs that, that screwed you. I don't blame the refs for this one. You, those penalties they, they, they threw, they were penalties. Like, don't hold. Don't jump off sides. Don't be stupid. Um, that's a concern for me. John, uh, I mentioned John G. My burner account. Honestly, Tom, why are we shocked? Same old Cowboys. Last 26 years we play contenders. We fold make excuses. Groundhog Day. I get it. Feels that way. Done it. Family for God. Roster still a long ways off. Need O-line. Speedy receiver. Need fatties on the defensive line. Need to run back to compliment Pollard because Zeke is washed. Zeke was hurt. So don't feed Zeke. <laughs> like your, your, your plays that went to Zeke of the 15, how many were good? One? One, right? It was the nine-yard run. Two. Two. He got the first down on the third and short play. Two of 13? Disaster. Stop doing it. They didn't learn. Uh, fatties only. I, I will ride on O-line for sure. Ten Tails says Cowboys are the new Browns. The Browns, just the Browns, though, let's be honest there. Gabriel, Super Chat, Alfred Martinez, call this, not that, only watch Cowboys games. Are the refs this crappy across the board? Yeah, uh, they are. They suck. Not why you lost, though. Uh, Killer Jams, honestly, you need to play consistent to win it all. Yeah, they haven't been consistent the past three months. Stone Cold, always love my Cowboys. Losing the playoffs is getting old. Yeah, it is. It's really annoying. It's been 25, 30 years now. Uh, Family for God mentioned this stuff earlier. Still need new OC, new head coach. McCarthy ain't that guy. He's not. I'm out. Now, this is post-game, so give me tomorrow to you know think about it some more. It's very reactionary, but yeah. Killa Killa, $5. Thank you. DRO214, fire McCarthy when he gets to the car. Move Quinn to head coach. Hire Flores, cut LVE Williams, but till next year... Well, those two guys are under contracts. So you don't have to worry about that. Or not under contracts. So you just let them go. Um, if you 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 can't hire Flores as DC. If you want him as head coach, uh, bring him in. That's how you got to get him. You can't bring him as, as DC. You're not gonna happen. Burner account. Sorry, Tommy, to stop buying JJ's. That's Jerry Jones's snake oil. Loves to distract us with other noise, but results are not there. The Jones are the problem. They are the lone constant. In the 27 years of failure from this team. Chris Hoke, no discipline, bad calling, a stand with a sunbeam in the player's eyes. That's on leadership. Yeah. Scat Pack B817, Dak fan here, but his image was not great this game. Put the blame on 52 with the penalties and missed blocks, also on more. Yeah, you can let Connor Williams go. I'm done. I, honestly, though, it wasn't just Connor on the O line. Everybody kind of played bad on the offensive line. That's it's a big deal. Um, it's a problem there. But I agree with the Williams and, and on more. But, yeah, I don't think Dak played great. Need, needed more from him? Not sure how much more. You were basically asking Dak to be perfect today or, like, almost perfect. That's a lot to ask of any QB. Ten tails. Thomas Bubbly. I got that wrong. Moore should clean the Niners locker room after that. It was rough. Marks has been saying it all season. Our stats are amped up from poor teams. We treat good players like elite players. You believe Dak, Coop, and Zeke worth their money? Not Dak. Or, sorry, not Zeke. Zeke's not. He was never w worth it. Well, that's unfortunate on that one. Throwing, players, throwing stuff at the Cowboys players. Don't do it. 
Uh, Scat Pack, Dax Jr. was bad, but Connor Williams was the most blamed. Kellen Moore, I think that one. Uh, Joe Zeus is bringing Mike Tomlin. He's playing in a game right now, so don't get chokes up there. Mark, what's McCarthy do? O-line horrible, no run D, erratic passes from Dak, no running back play, penalties galore with Niners being a two-star D lineman. No complaints. John G, any chance we hire Sean Payton now? Doubt it. Don't get your hopes up. Mercy Grace, been a fan for years. Cowboys do not want this game the same as the 49ers. There is a huge problem with his team discipline. Jerry Care. Hope he does. I think he cares. I think his way about winning and going about winning is, is wrong, though. Berto Poe, Dak Slow, throws behind the receivers, hasn't won important games. He plays his worst in important games, undisciplined mental clowns when it counts. The funny thing is, though, in the Cowboys, of the Cowboys' playoff losses, I think this was the worst game Dak played. Actually, hasn't played that bad. It's, it's been supporting cast that's the issue. But this one, you can blame Dak some. Make no mistake. Alfred, Al knows dog Gary, Jerry kicked 20 years ago. Mark, hope the family is well. Thank you, Mark. Hit the nail on the head with all your points. Awesome teams have issues to fix. We have to admit it. I, I think you summed it up better than I did, actually, Mark. Whole team got problems. Whole team. Not just one player, not just one coach. But when it's the whole team, at the top. We'll see if Jerry wants to admit it. Sam, at this point, what do we do? You, you got to make some changes, man. You got to bring in other people. You got to make change. You, you got to affect change at this point. You can't just roll it back. So it might get worse, but the same is not going to fly. Alf, at least I have NASCAR. <laughs> Appreciate it there. At least it wasn't the NFC Championship. I would prefer if it was the NFC Championship. I'd rather make it there. Have made it there in forever. You lost at home for the first time in, a, in, the, in the wild card round in like 10 years. Disaster. Scott Yeager, Kellen's offense was number one, number two in passing. Who's going to do it better? Let me score back to 50 cents, take 40 yards and sacks. Well, the quarterback did not throw 50%, though. Like, we have the, the numbers there in front of us to show. It was not great. Oh, actually, shoot. It was uh, not quite 50%. It was 55. It's not good. Doesn't make the uh, receivers drop passes either. So, if you want to keep Kellen as the OC, I get it. But the past three months of games were not good. I hated the play calling. So, I, I totally understand, and you're right on this part, show me one successful OC when you're in third and long. You're right. You're, there was a lot of execution there. But, you also set yourself up by this by running the ball so much. By not using pre-snap motion, the Cowboys got away from the things that worked well this year. That is a failure of the coaching staff and Kellen as well. Naked says fire everyone but John Fossil, Dan Quinn. Do you want to make Dan Quinn your head coach? I think that's the way you keep him. Not sure I do. Duncan, I know it's one with you of us and a little baby. <laughs> Thanks, Duncan. Thanks for sharing with us today. It was a wild season of fishing crap for everyone all year. Heads up, Cowboys Nation. Fair point. Richard, need to revamp the O-line? Yep. Uh, is it Sierran Collins or Sierran Collins? You're Irish Cowboys fan, so I, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that first name wrong, and I'm sorry. I feel physically sick and won't be able to sleep. Yeah, the kid's going to keep me up, and so will my mind. Uh, DRO, Fire McCarthy. I feel it. Burner account is McCarthy Moore, the new Wade Phillips JG. I fear that it is. I really do. Stone Cold. Jones family doesn't play in the field. It's mainly the coaches and players. Yes, you're right. They don't play in the field. But what has been the one constant in almost 30 years of Cowboys failing to get it done? The Jones is at the top. It's the only, only constant. Patrick says Jerry needs to hire a real GM. Guys, Will, Will McClay. They got to find a new coach again. Ellis says Cedric Wilson, Gregory, Williams, Collins, LVE, bye. You might lose them. Alfred Martinez, cheers. Another expected season. That one hurts, but it's true. And Joe Ramirez needs some coach with some cojones, head coach and OC. That is all the Super Chats. And we'll go one long poll and kill it. Cowboys lose. I'm in shambles. Bottoms up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Alfred, did we at least win a Super Chat? What did the Niners do? We rallied strong, by the way. Hey, Jack. Hey, what was the final number on Niners Super Chats? Waiting. Ah, we beat them. We beat the Niners in Super Chats, at least. Yeah, well, we still won. Hey, 
Jack, I need this. I need this. I don't care. I need this. I need this. Bottoms up. Fire McCarthy.